don't need no countdowns. We don't need no countdowns. We're ready. We're going live. We're doing it now. We're screw it. We're live. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Lee Dangus. Can you see me? Can you, can you see me there? I love the scale of these ships. This is the Diamondback Explorer. It looks so big when you're walking around it. Anyway, how you doing? What up, Valor, Loot, Dead Star? How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome to Saturday, the the Saturday shenanigans in the Dang in the world of Dangus and the Dangabus. Here we are, and it's lovely. We got weird, um, weird space weather in Canada today. It's like a snow globe snows and then sunshine, 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 and then snow globe snows, and it's like make up your mind weather. But yeah, um, evening, evening, good evening, loot. Um, if you logged in to your elite dangles lately, you might have something in your inbox. They call for assistance from Aiden Tanner, and apparently there's some some interesting lore that's been added. So I figured, well, we'll go check this out today. Um, if you remember, D2 was uh, it's an experiment from Azimuth, where they were trying to take human subjects and merge them with Thargoid technology in order to fly a Thargoid scout. And D2, of course, um, was the only surviving subject. And they uh, were recently like under protection of Aegis or something like that, and they escaped. So now they're kind of like out there. And apparently, according to this, Admiral Tanner from Aegis, Su Jin A formerly... Oh, hi, Commander Regent. How you doing? Uh, but uh, subject D2 is missing and likely in danger. Her last known location was traced. To the Nuranka system. I've asked for Aegis security teams to search the area, even so the Pilots Federation has always been a trusted ally. Come on. Come on. Let's let, let's think about that for a second. Really? But I digress. And I consider its members people of integrity. <laughs> if you float in open. Uh, I hope that you'll uncover CO's whereabouts. Let's bring her home. So I have to write this down. NG Yuruang. Yanka. That's a very interesting system name. So we're gonna head there and then kind of, you know, check, check the thing out. Well, first I'm gonna see how far it is, because. Niger. Niger. No, wait. Niger. 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 That one. Here we go. Oh, well, that's kind of, like, not that far but also kind of far I probably want to change my ship who's, who's it by? some engineers here Ori and Shozing I don't know who those engineers are and Beta 3 Tucani it's kind of close to a Maelstrom actually Vesper M4 why do I have that bookmarked do you ever wonder sometimes you have so many bookmarks and you're just like what was so special about it maybe Slow Orbital that seems like a famous place is that a famous place should I know Slow or Orbital what up, Senior Cuervo? Lots of fleet carriers here. Mary's Garden, the Ninth Wave, Bloody Pastor, Everbright, and Astaroth. Oh, and more. Just passing through. And Scurio Morpha. Sounds Italian. The City of Elysium, Maystar Galactica. There and back, this person's a J.R.R. Tolkien fan. The Planet Slow. Oh, this is interesting. This one had a description. An unreliable star system that tends to get congested around slow during peak holiday season, owing to the bureaucratic nature with, through which transfers are handled through the slow orbital space station to luxury resorts on board the slow observer. Oh, this is home to the hammers of slow. Maybe there's a rare commodity here. I have no idea why I bookmarked it, but it's close to this area. What was that? Nostrano. I thought that said Nostromo. No, Nastrond. This is the area we are needing to go to. Oh no, wait, that's where we are. <laughs> Never mind. That's Bologna's. Pay no attention to me. This area. New Ming, Wolf 36. So I don't know, like, where is this in relation to the bubble? Is it kind of on the way to the Pleiades? No. Pleiades is over there. So it's kind of on the other end of the bubble, which is interesting. It's not really in, like, prime Thargoid territory, which you would expect D2 is kind of like investigating the Thargoids. Okay, I might switch my ship for this investigation. 
This, uh, Stranger Danger is one of my Diamondback Explorers. This is kind of like, expect for Maelstrom exploration. So I want something with good jump range. Ideally a field scoop. Maybe my Python. Maybe the Golden Dangus. It's time for the Golden Dangus to rise once more. Decent jump range. Let's do it. Of course, just, as you can see, I've got these HUD changers. I love EDHM. It is honestly amazing. The fact that it makes everything looks just so freaking cool. Oh no, now I have to type in the system name again. Uh, that one. Alright, we're gonna go to that system, which I dare not pronounce. Too many vowels. How many jumps? Five jumps? We can do it. Oh, let's see, what do I got in my Python? Got beam lasers and frag cannons, classic. We got collector limpets, which is all you really need. Takes the stress off of collecting the commodities. BBL phone call. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, I love how it makes the night vision red. Doesn't the dango bush look so awesome in red? Okay, don't mind me just found. What was wrong with the body of it? Did I, I might have changed the carrier shape and forgot to change it back. Yeah, I've started writing my next uh, Bond adventure. I would say uh, script might be done in the next week, but I still want to do an episode between now and, the, and Thunder Dangus. However, you know what's really cool? I downloaded this thing called Reshade, and I don't know if you can see this, but check this out. Uh, it does all these things, right? You can make the chroma key Right? Oop, hold on. And let's see here. I can actually set like a green screen. So in theory, I could be flying anywhere right now. I have no idea where I'm going, but isn't that cool? Right, it literally sets a green screen in the game. Hold on, let me get into camera mode here. So the special effects potential is absolutely incredible. Um, I, I, I was put onto this by the, the Canon guy who did the White Stripes video. I was like, how are you getting just these amazing, amazing visuals? And it's through this program called Reshade, which is super cool. I can just turn this on, turn this off. Just like that. If I want to do, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? There's like a, what do you call it? Uh, the widescreen things eye adaptation I can like change the lighting right now I'm in HDR mode which is kind of cool ah! well, I love this program it's like you can just pop it up Technicolor I can put it in little legit Technicolor or do tilt shifts or change the tint in the tone map it's all very cool where is the dang uh, anamorphic or whatever aspect ratio Maybe you just can't see it because it's so dark. But there's lots of cool things. Now, this is not uh, everything that you can do with it. Like, there's a whole bunch more things that you can download. Whoa! Whoa! We've gone into the 80s! Okay, let's, let's turn that off. But yeah, it's it's a pretty cool little little tool. Well, Dots boot with elite ships? I don't know, that might be... Uh... Oh, wait. Hard points. Now I'd be going uh, out of out of my ballywick, but I like the idea. But with with this new green screen technology, I can do anything. I can land on an Earth-like world. I can fly through a city. Just think about that for a second. So Thunder Dagus is going to be interesting. I think it's going to be a big upgrade on uh, on the on the Dangus tech stack, which should be fun. I actually can't wait to start uh, shooting that. Gold, gold, uh, no, not gold Degas. Uh, Degas Finger did really, really well. I was very pleased with uh, uh, the response to it. But I think the next one's going to be even better. From what I've already started planning, I'm like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta take it to the next level. But this is so cool. Like, I can just turn a green screen on. Like, just like that. Where, where is it? Boom. Amazing. So, thank you to the, the Canon guy that put me onto this. I remember Tukoso was playing around with it. We were a little bit worried that um, 
this is a live service game, and technically this, like, mods the game, would this uh, violate the EL Lulu? Uh, I don't think it does, though, because uh, the program itself offers two versions, and one that is, like, safe for multiplayer, that doesn't do anything that, like, the developers would frown upon. But if I get banned, well, then, then we know why. But it was, uh, I figured, well, well, we'll check out the D2 stuff, then um, I was thinking about heading to a Maelstrom and trying to unlock those pesky caustic sinks. Which, honestly, I was doing a little run last night, and uh, I was struggling with this. Like, it, it, it is not easy to extract these flesh samples that you need and get out alive. But all said and done, I wouldn't mind uh, blowing up a Thargoid or two. Now, there was a, a Galnet article from Aegis. I'm not going to open Galnet hyperspace, but... Uh, there was a Galnet article from Aegis saying basically we were fighting the Thargoid War wrong. That it's actually easier to prevent expansion than it is to actually repel the Thargoids from a system they're already in. Which I thought was interesting, but uh, the only way that I guess you're supposed to stop them from expanding is by killing Orpheuses in the systems where they're expanding to, the little yellow dots. This is me kind of regurgitating what I learned on the burr pit. Um, that said, it's, like, really hard to kill an Orpheus, because they kind of run away. So, I don't know. I think you need to go ham. I think you need to do the sort of, like, insta-kill, insta-give, like, get five or six people, all with Guardian, um, what do you call them? Shard cannons. The pre-engineered ones. And just go ham on it all at once. So, I don't know. If any of you guys are flying around there, who's it open? Who's it open right now? Let's see. Oh, wow. Lots of people online. I don't even... Who's Commander Kalut? I don't remember him. Kryko? I've known that guy for a long time. Crazy Russian. scooby Lou. The usuals. It is amazing sometimes when you log in and you look at your sort of commander friend list and it's like, yeah, there's there's still a lot of folks coming in online. It's still a pretty populated galaxy. Uh, there are some people selling them. You can give me some too, but it's quite fun. Loop to this tribe. Yeah, I definitely want to, like, uh, give it a shot, right? I think it's like, when you go through the process, you kind of, like, earn it, right? What up, Mark Smash? Team invite. But there is none. What is going on? What? What? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's Death Star. Hello. Who that? The Dali Sue. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to find gankers in this system because, well... Wherever there are mystery seekers and explorers, there are gankers. I wonder if this guy is a ganker. He's not or he's not a triangle yet. I just want to scan you and see if you're wanted. Hold still for me, little one. And he's clean. We have a little 07, that way he knows we're friendly. Or he could be very suspicious. So, uh, what are we looking for? I have no freaking clue. Nothing stands out on the radar. Well, time to go into scanner mode. Oh, no, 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 not the scanner mode. Oh! I think other commanders can also see these in Super Cruise, by the way. I want to get everyone together and let's just, like, shoot probes into, into space and see what happens. See if we can crash the game. Uh, Brother Sabathius did explain it really well, showed it in his stream. Maybe you can check that out. He literally unlocked the Coptic sink in his stream. Well, that's what I'm hoping to do. So we'll see if we can make that happen, but I think first things first. I gotta know what's going on with this D2 stuff. Because I've heard there's some pretty interesting lore. So let's see, anything interesting that we can already see before we scan anything? And tell me, how is the, the music mix, by the way? Let me know if I need to adjust the uh, the audios. Got a little weapons part. What is that? There's something there. What are you? Oh, it's just a gas giant. Probably the moons. Whatever. Sometimes it's... Oh, there's a lot of carriers here. That could be important. Sometimes you just, like... If, if in doubt, follow the carriers, right? And someone from Canada's got there in front of you. Uh, a circle probe? Oh, look. Hutton Orbital. It's actually a great carrier name. 
Obviously, there's something going on out here. I feel like 3C might be the, the place to go, but... Oh, interesting. Okay. Hacked comms beacon. That seems out of place. Might as well just scan these wounds for the, you know, the, the heck of it. Hacked comms beacon. Okay. Let's see what you got. Now, don't hate me, but I got Super Cruise Assist on this thing, because... Man, it is kind of nice to just be able to take your hands off the keyboard and mouse and let your ship do the thing. Yep, there's interesting things. Inter okay, so it's good, eh? It's not just like, hey, oh, Ray Mobula, how you doing? It, but this isn't going to be one of those mysteries where it's like, uh, there's like, find out, tune in next week when we add the next beacon. Or is it going to end in like some crazy cipher? Because all I know is, hey, check your inbox, there's a message there. I looked at the message. I don't know anything beyond that, so I don't know where this is going. But D2, obviously, what are the what are the things at play right now? We got the blue triangle. Everyone wants to know about the blue triangle. We've got Salvation. We've got Azimuth, which Salvation is dead, but I still suspect uh, he faked his death or something. Then you've got Azimuth, right, which is trying to claw their way back. You've got Aegis. You've got the Thargoids. You've got the Maelstroms. And then, and then D2 do herself, right? And Black Flight. Black Flight. So who's, who's, you know, why is D2 missing? Did she disappear? Was she captured by Black Flight? Intercepted by Thargoids? We don't know. Obviously, Aegis is the one looking at her, so I don't think they... Aegis is the one that was protecting her and looking for her, so I don't think that they have, like, dispatched her and are trying to fake it. But that could be a possibility. But we'll see. I should also keep my eye out, just see if there's anything else on the way. But hacked comms beacon, that, that sounds that sounds about right. And you say it's it is it is good, it is good. Okay, okay. Okay. Do we get a free skin or something? Do we get hundred million space bucks? I was doing a couple of missions yesterday because I'm starting to worry about my bank account. Only 1.6 billion. That actually like makes me nervous. It's like I could in theory, actually spend that on, on ships. But that carrier, man, it just takes and takes and takes. I mean, it gives too, but it takes a lot of credits. I really want them to get rid of maintenance fees. And, and like, if they ever got rid of maintenance fees, would they ever do a mass refund? Just everyone who's paid maintenance fees, hey, you get your money back for however long you paid them. Can you imagine? The billions and billions of dollars... I think I saw Dead, oh, they did start here in the system. Yeah, we're definitely going to encounter some people. If gankers are looking for people, they're always hanging around uh, uh, Community Goals, Shinrata Desra, Engineers, and then of course when these mysteries come up and everyone rushes to uh, check them out. All right, Dead Star cleared the way. So we got the old listening post format. All right, we got a message. There are these, oh, three discovered logs. Nemesis, Nemesis investigation. Where do I know Nemesis from? I know Nemesis. Okay, hold on. Are these voice acted? Oh my God, they are. Okay, I gotta turn down the Tacoso for one moment, just a moment. And let's, let's actually listen to this. Let me turn up the voice. Well, I'm out of practice. It's been a while since I received an anonymous Hold on. tip from someone. Stop. Play. Let's play from the beginning. You finally figured out how to contact me. It took you long enough? Well, I'm out of practice. It's been a while since I received an anonymous tip from some hothead charging across the galaxy. Skip the lecture about how I shouldn't be flying around the galaxy by myself. Or that the noises in my head are too important. What's her accent? I've already tried. Are you sure? I've been planning my speech for hours. I found something, Mr. Tanner. Data pulled from an Azimuth archive. The files are still corrupt in places, 
But if the decryption I'm running is good, then... hold on a second. What do you think you found? Salvation. Part of what? Safe device suit. Some kind of digital storage for human consciousness. What? He called it the Nemesis Protocol. Just a I knew it. An arrogant prick would give them service. It must have been activated before the Bright Sentinel was destroyed. The recovery crew only saw a corpse, right? Yeah. The body a corpse was confirmed, but the Thargoid showed up before it could be recovered. I saw the report from the rescue crew. I can't say I doubted its authenticity. There's no chance Salvation would have been on that ship if he didn't have a getaway plan. This is great. He's too much of a coward to face death. Finer deaths, I mean. I know he escaped somehow. I understand why you're key on this, Soha, but this idea of uploading someone's mind into a data bank is just... Is... is what? Crazy? Crazy like Hollow I said you were crazy, kid. Just don't want you to exhaust yourself chasing rumors. I'm always exhausted. I didn't ask to join your stupid war with the aliens. Now I'm trapped in the middle of it because of him. This nemesis device will what? prove salvation still out there. If I can find it. Are you going to help me or not? I already said I would. What have you got? Okay, wow. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Uh wow, okay. So I don't know. I, I, I remember saying this like like when Salvation died, I'm like, there's no way he's dead. I one of my theories is that he uploaded himself to a guardian beacon network or consciousness or whatever. So it looks like that actually is kind of the case. Um, Nemesis. Where do, where do I know that from? But it's called the Nemesis Project. The body's ID was confirmed, but Thargo showed up before it could be covered, so the... We don't even really have the body. Right. Commander Blitbad. Oh, hi, Dead Star. What a nice crate. It's a really nice crate. It looks so good. I'll give you spins. Nemesis. Look at the cutscene when the wave was fired. Oh! Wait, wait, wait! Because th there was, um... On the panel, on the panel, it didn't say Bright Star. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see here, because I know, I remember this. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, hold on, Salvation fires the Proteus cannon, right? Do, 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 do. I'll just do to display capture. Or wait, can that, does that, Hold on. Window capture. Yes. Okay. Let's watch the Proteus wave. Watch. Uh, this is this is ancient lore now. This is this is uh, lore from the before times, before the maelstroms. Remember when we logged in and we couldn't turn off the cutscene? Now I kind of miss it. Like, where's my cutscene frontier? Like they should have the cutscene somewhere in the game in Galnet, so you can rewatch them again. Attention all humans. I, I mean my fellow humans. It is I, Salvation speaking. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. Anyway, today is a pretty important day. For we are Yes, you can see it there. Nemesis. Nemesis. It says Nemesis, not Bright Star. Oh, on the verge of the largest bug fix this galaxy has ever seen. Yes. CQC will no longer crash all of the time, but also today you will see the work that I have been doing. Yes, I alone, with literally no one's help and certainly no CGs, just these two massive hands of mine and like 500 years of body mutilation on unwilling human experiments, will culminate in my life's work for today. My Proteus wave will fire and wipe out the Thargoid Menace once and for all, so that we can all go back to PvP and trade CGs. Today, the next chapter in our history begins. Please turn to page 3308 of your codexes. 
Proteus Vave is now vaving, Captain. Thargoid base lighting is at optimal disco the good old Proteus Vave. I'm detecting a jar of marmalade in the Proteus Vave. Is that supposed to be there? Jerry, did you leave your marmalade in the super weapon? The Thargoids are coming! The Thargoids are coming! And they look angry. Uh, guys, this is Jerry. I, I think I left my marmalade in the Proteus Vave. Uh, the marmalade is definitely there, but... We have to fire now. Guys, we're broadcasting to all of humanity right now. This is kind of a big moment for me. Fire the weapon. Surf is up. I repeat, surf is up. Okay, uh, Proteus Wave has crashed in. The Proteus Wave did the thing. Okay, it looks like the Thargoids are dead. Great job, everyone. And that is how you do a genocide. Uh, we don't use the G word or the X word, please. This is salvation side. Let's keep on brand, please. Well, it looks like it worked. Uh, victory! Yay! Guys, there's, there's a problem down here. My, my marmalade seems to be pulsating. Uh, I'm picking up marma waves from the surface up here. This isn't supposed to happen. Uh, salvation? Um, I just remembered I left the stove on in my anaconda in Shinrata Desra. I have to go now. Guys, the, that was really expensive marbly. That, I don't know where I'm going to find more. Oh no, the Thargoids are waking up! It didn't work! Jerry, this is all your fault! You and your stupid marmalade! Hey, don't don't call my marmalade stupid! I didn't call your homemade preserves Love stupid! Me. You're stupid! I swear, Jerry, if the Thargoids were murdering us right now, I would come down there and kick your bunch of women! Ah! Uh, and you know, the rest is history. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that was the last time we heard from Salvation, but yeah, Nemesis was on the, 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 the freaking computer, on the computer screen, so that was Salvation uploading his consciousness, apparently, according to this. So, this is confirmed. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, yeah, thanks for that, that tip, Ray Bobby. I knew I knew Nemesis from somewhere. I thought it was, like, a, a planet or a system or something. Maybe there's, like, a system called Nemesis. Hold on. There might actually be it there. That was exactly what happened. You can't change history after it's done. Yeah, there is a nemesis system. Because I remember, yeah, we went there in Momus Reach. Trying to see if, uh... Yeah, Tartarus Point and Pandora. The moon of Pandora. Which, that's gotta be... That's gotta mean something. This all this system also has a description. <clears throat> a disgraced ex judges retirement nest egg where he breeds the rare bog spaniel. This is where we got the bog spaniels. By nemesis, that's right. Okay, that's... That's, that's like going back now. Uh, which makes such lifelike duck calls that some interesting crossbreeds are now being researched. The, the home of the Greater Tashitari Republic, the GTR, which seeks to bring the whole of the Tashitari sector under the influence of the Federation through the advancement of his democratic interplanetary charter. <laughs> it serves as a liberal buttress of the... the, 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 the blah, 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 who cares? Interesting, though. Okay, let me get some... Or wait, there's more, there's more messages, but I, I want to just... Hold on. Let's just unpack what else do we learn from this. So obviously D2 has been bombing around doing her own investigation. Tanner tracked her down. He seems like a pretty cool laid back dude for like the head of Aegis, right? He's just like, yeah, whatever. It's cool. We could do it. Yeah, no, I trust you. Now, interestingly enough, yeah. So, so CO, aka D2, says salvation is a fail safe device. Some kind of digital storage for human consciousness. He called it the Nemesis Protocol. So... His corpse may be under Thargoid control, but his mind might be uploaded into a computer. Very interesting. And now she's trying to find the Nemesis probe. So let's see what happens in part two. The upload's finished. Check your inbox. Message received. Oh, I like the little in-game in sound effects. I've checked Mark the important parts. So you have. <laughs> Where did you learn to find this information? I used to be a private investigator. My boss had a soft spot really? for people who'd been screwed over by the corporations. A fellow colleague. To access private networks without setting off any alarms. You're a hacker, don't you? Oh yeah, a real cybernet hacker. Nobody talks like that anymore. Info is only as safe as the network it lives on. Ooh. Didn't you ever learn how to bypass in the federal company? Federal Navy, and no, it wasn't part of my training to steal classified data. I had a network of spies who did that for me. Ho, ho, ho. I read that 
that you tried to seize data from Azimus computers at Hindmine. But Hindmine. They failed. Maybe that wasn't part of your training either. I can hear your grin, Sola. Instead of smart. Yeah, this is really plucky. How about you explain how you found out about this nemesis thing? Fine, fine. <laughs> Remember when Azimuth was forced out of several systems last year? They left a few unmarked data clusters on local servers. Mm -hmm. I doubt on purpose. One had access port info for a primary. What? Did you send someone after me? No, why do you ask? You still there, so? I could have sworn there was movement on my radar. Can't see anything now. You tell me if you did, yes? It depends on what my objective was, uh, but I'm telling the truth. I'm not aware of any plan to have you followed. Okay. Okay, let's go through this data. <laughs> okay, so the, at the, first check mark. the voice acting in this, and the dialogue, I don't think is, like, amazing. Um, but okay, what did we learn from this? CO used to be a private investigator, so a fellow uh, investigator. That's awesome. Solving mysteries. And they are a real cybernet hacker. Like, who wrote this, Grandpa? Uh, but yeah, obviously, uh, there's a little bit of weird banter here. Like, CO's being very, like, like plucky, right? Like, no, it wasn't part of my training to steal classified data. Well, I read that you tried to seize data from Azimuth's computers, but failed. Maybe that isn't part of your training. Like, this is very plucky for, like, a, an escape hostage that can talk to Thargoids, talking to, like, the head of, like, the Aegis military, right? It's very, uh, interesting. But, interesting, okay, so did you send someone after me? No, why do you ask? It's like, uh, you would tell me if you sent someone after me. Uh, maybe. But then it's like, okay, whatever, I guess I saw something on my radar. No big deal, it's not like I'm, uh, you know, a hot commodity in the middle of nowhere here. Let's just, like, look at the data. So, she kind of, like, brushes that off, I think, a little bit quickly right it would be like uh why don't i like go somewhere else and then we can talk later but whatever um apparently that didn't come with our training there's one more log so let's see what this one says this is cool i'll be completely honest with you so i'm still not convinced how can you say that after everything you just read salvation had a fail safe for when he physically died All I physically died using guardian tech to build a storage device oh oh Salvation had the credits and resources to build anti-Thargoid mega weapons. He convinced the fleets of all three superpowers to join his cause. Do you really think he'd design a way to cheat death and not go through with it? Show me in this document where it says he built the Nemesis to You're being dumb. <laughs> There's no mention of building it. Then you're still chasing a rumor. <coughs> I agree that this is interesting. Maybe there's more to find. For now, come back to the Aegis facility, and we can plan the next phase of your search together. Together? Right. You'll keep a close eye on me, I guess. It's important to make sure your Thargoid wiretap is safe. You're sulking. Don't talk down to me. I'm right. Is that what you think? That we're more interested in what you can give us than who you are? If yeah. I couldn't hear the Thargoid, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ah, maybe you're right. But I'm not sure we'd be talking if I hadn't been a Federal Navy Admiral. It doesn't matter what brings us to the dance, so What matters is you're here now, and we have a duty to care for you. I wish I could believe you. <laughs> What's up, Dark Heavy? I'm so messed up, Aiden. It's like my brain isn't my own anymore. The noises are sometimes loud and sometimes quiet, but I could never switch them off. That's a crappy hand to be dealt. I wish there was a way to take it back. But the doctors say we can't. Not yet, at least. Maybe not. Scan detected. Need to go. Oh. Ships arrived with weapons already. No identification. Shields online. Name a destination. I'll have a squadron deployed to meet you. Shangdi. Shangdi. Dropping comms. Okay, so I guess... I guess we go to Shangdi. This is... Wow, okay. So, yeah, there is something mentioned about Guardian stuff. Ray and hey, hey, Dark Eye, how you doing? So, let's break down this one. So, obviously, Salvation had this fail safe. She got this from like Azimuth hard drives that were left behind at an old Azimuth base, and I guess she knew this because she was, you know, an experiment from them. But uh, all I've seen is a theory about using Guardian Tech to build a storage device for the mind. 
So using Guardian Tech to upload your mind into... Are we going to get Salvation, like, Guardian ships and Guardian, like, skirmishes and stuff like that? That... Like, if, if Salvation could control the Guardian AI... Oh, my lord. This is this is actually getting super interesting. Oh, my lord. Hey, what up, da Dante Chinik? Uh, hey, uh, you feel her just returned from a Friday conference. Yeah, I know. Uh, that, must be, that must be exhausting, right? Even she's like, yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, so Salvation has a credit to uh, build anti-Thargoid mega weapons. He convinced all the fleets. Like, why wouldn't he go through with it? Well, show me the proof that they built this. You're being dumb. Show me. You, 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 you dummy. <laughs> That's where it gets like, okay, like, what's going on here? Uh, uh, you know who CEO remi reminds me a little bit of Drummer from The Expanse? Which I would dig, because that was my favorite character on The Expanse. Uh, but yeah, he's like, yeah, you're still chasing a rumor. Basically, prove it. Come back. You know, you talk to Thargoids. We need our Thargoid translator or whatever. She's like, oh, and you just care about my ability to talk to Thargoids and save the galaxy. It's like, are you are you sulking? Like, what the hell is the dialogue here? But that's interesting. So, okay. So, yeah, D2 talks to Thargoids. D2 has basically been tracing this Nemesis device to try and find if Salvation used it and uploaded his mind into a con into a, a computer. And now it says that she went to Shangdi to to re um to go with it. So let's go let's go to Shangdi. Where where the hell is Shangdi? Oh Shang Shang Shangdi. There we go. Just a few jumps. Oh, right next to Rod. Good old Rod. I love when the system names are like the first like Bob. There's a system called Bob. Yeah, you wanna go to Bob? There's nothing really there. Okay, there we go. I wonder if there's a system called Doug. Alright, well, let's go to Shangdi. It's only a couple jumps away. Drive charging. That's really interesting, though. Okay, let me put Chikoso back on. That is definitely one of the most interesting plot threads that we've had since update 14. And the Proteus wave uh, firing off. Is that Salvation Three, may still be out there, two, and he may have uploaded his one, consciousness into a Guardian device. So are we gonna get some guardians coming? Is that what is this like the blue triangle? Could we be looking at the the or, blue triangle origins? This is actually very fascinating, and I like the fact that there's like multiple System voice acted logs. Complete. Like this is some meaty content. This is some lore with bones. Frame shift drive charging. All right now, off to Shengdi. I don't think I've ever been to Shangdi before. Let's see what's there. Wow, though, this is this is pretty cool. Four, three, two, one, of course, in traditional eight, frontier fashion, it'll be months before we actually see the fruits of this uh, uh, plot thread unravel. That's one thing I do see quite a lot is like the story in Elite is awesome. I just wish it moved a little faster. Which I, I get, like you know, it's like they gotta. Okay, Blackbird's Consortium. We are here in Shangdi. Let's pop a scan. Should we go to the Nav Beacon? Melon, melon Tree Memorial. Anything we can see here right off the bat? Black Corona. Well, uh, there's not much in the system, so at least we won't have to comb through everything. Okay, there's something with an exclamation mark. It's just a signal source. Oh my lordy. It says nav beacon, but there's something. Is that... I guess do we go to the nav beacon? It's got an exclamation mark on it. Let's just scan everything. I do kind of like this FSD scanner. I don't know. I, at first, I was kind of mixed on it, but I think I just—it's very relaxing to zoom in and zoom out. What are these? Weapons fire. Lots of BGS going on here. I don't know. Did you see the uh, the developer dude who came on? Um, it was like two frame shift lives ago or whatever, and he talked about. Um, the signal sources and how they like kind of work and their proceduralness and all that kind of fun stuff and it was actually kind of cool 
Okay, where else is... Let's just go to the nav beacon. I think that's the most logical thing to do. Yes, it's Salvation's ghost in a guardian shell. What could go wrong? Everything, and I love it. That's exactly what I want. As I want to see, like... Like, it's like, okay, what's worse? The Thargoids or Salvation Guardian? Oh, my lord. Like, that gives me something to look forward to. And I think it's kind of, like, it's interesting that Frontier now is really focused on kind of, like, aligning story and updates with narrative, right? Like, everything is kind of going along on a narrative, right? Which they kind of, like, I think they tried to do it. Like, there was a period where I felt like, narrative and, and features were kind of disconnected. But it feels lately like they're, they're really starting to align, right? Like you got Costa Keat sinks and, and, and Maelstroms and like the new content kind of applies to the new things. Like again, I think the pacing of it is a little bit slow, right? Like I could see that being really frustrating where it's like, yeah, I, I'm like, okay, this Costa Cloud is cool. And I have to wait four months for a CG to finish so that I can actually explore it. But the, 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 the sort of design strategy itself of just, like, having new features that kind of tie into the narrative. I think that's really cool. Hey, what up, Zakao? How are you? Morning to you. Morning to you, sir. We're just here investigating the D2 mystery, which is... So far, I, I don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes, but I'm liking it so far. Right, dropping in at the nav. Scan the bacon. What is that? A, is that a Type 7? Oops. I was not paying attention. Give me your secrets. Okay, nothing... Scan detected. Nothing, like, happened. We're being scanned. I'm technically quote unquote hostile in the system. Another ship, another useless spacer. Get out of the way. Screw you, Federal! Scan detected. Okay, uh, what have we revealed? Stop scanning me, everyone. Frame Let's go back to Super drive charging. Uh, The USS guy was great, but the players didn't get that to Four, control. Three, the good invasion, two, they have to put the one, attention into a work system. What USS guy? Okay, is there anything that stands out here? Not really. What about in the in the scanny boot? Okay, there is another exclamation mark now. Now, wait, I was just at the nav beacon. Where be the other thing? Because the nav beacon was this one, right? Okay, what about, where's that gas giant? This thing. Okay, so Black Corona Co. There's something interesting about that. Okay. That must be our next stop. I like this. I like this a lot. The more they do this stuff, the better. Feels good thing. Like, even if there were no features and they just did this for ten more years, but, like, a lot, I'd be kind of... Stoked. Oh, 10,000 light seconds. Oh my lord. Damn you, Frontier. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back. This sucks. Fuel scoop disengaged. Thank you. Spend so much time in Super Cruise. Uh, you have sausage limbs as you walk 20k yesterday and you're drunk. So you're a drunk sausage limbed person. I love it. Excellent. <laughs> FDev needs to align the story. So you really love the lore stuff, but yeah, the progression could be faster. Yeah, I mean. That definitely, it definitely feels like that slow pace. And, I, I, you know, it's one of those things where it's like they never release, I feel, enough content at once to kind of like, you know, it's like when, when you watch a TV show. Like I was watching The Last of Us as it came out every week, right? And every episode felt really rushed and condensed and I really wanted more, but then I had to wait a week. And then, you know, by the, the time the, the next week gets there, you kind of lost that, that hype from the last episode, right? And it's like, I feel like, there would be more hype if they just went a little deeper like and this is cool like already this is what location number two if there's two or three more of these hey that's enough to kind of satiate me and get me in the mode for a next one right but if the next one is going to be a month out then uh yeah i mean that's that's where i think it's like a lot of people just that pacing right 
If it really sucks, do a Minesweeper sweeper stream? Could we do Minesweeper in Elite? Like, just like, uh... Be like, yeah, we'll, uh... Uh, lay some mines and then try to find them. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Curious Ship Debris. Hold on, this is a lot closer. What is Curious Ship Debris? I didn't even see that. I've never seen that as a signal source. Okay, let's go there. Oop, oop, slow down, slow down. Curious ship debris. So someone was blown up. Uh oh, are they gonna kill off D2? They, sh they shouldn't do that, because we need more, like, interesting characters. Like, the kind of part that sucks is, like, yeah, like, we're all just, like, nobodies, right? We're all just, like, yeah, members of the Pilot Federation. But then you have these interesting characters like Salvation and D2 and, Tan and Tanner. It's like, maybe it's kind of like, you know, it's that sort of like main character syndrome in me where I'm like, why doesn't Galnet talk about my exploits? Did Galnet watch, not watch Dengus Finger? Why is Dengus Finger not in the news? <laughs> there's, yeah, there's got to be something to this because this is a like a named a named signal source. It also does not have like a time left kind of thing on it. Check the filter for signals. Are there other signals? Or is this like what I'm looking for? I kind of still want to go to that that base with the exclamation mark. Press J to disengage. Turn on night vision, that way I can see what's going on, okay. We definitely, it looks like there is some, some sort of Space junk. Okay, don't don't pop into it. Oh wow, it's just like a piece of a ship. Uh ship log uplink. Okay, these ones need to be data scanned, right? I will scan you with my science. Here we go. Curious ship debris. Okay, interesting. We got another message. So, message corrupted. Okay, so transaction transcription complete. Are you sure that's her wake? One of them is. Can't tell for sure. She gate crashed a wedding and said ship scattering. Damn barges are everywhere. That is brilliant. I love that. Ooh, I want to use that in, in, a, in an episode of just like hiding in a wedding a wedding uh, uh, convoy or whatever. That's great. Uh, who takes a wedding barge to Shangdi? <laughs> People who live in Shangdi probably. Shut up, you two. We got a job to do. Just analyze the wakes. Jeez. None of them give her name. She's hardly going to have D2 stamped on her ship either. Okay, so these are like the people looking for D2. These are the bad guys. The henchmen, if you will. The goons. Uh, would make our life easier if she did. Look, let's take one system each. All search. Oh, okay. So the, the search continues. Electrona. EGM95. And Anka. So I'm guessing in one of these... And then main. Apparently a system called main. Okay, so we've got four bad guys, four henchmen chasing D2, and they're all going to split up and check the different things. As to why one of them got blown up, let's see here. Uh, what do we do when we find her? Stick to the plan. Disable her ship. Force her to use an escape pod. What if she doesn't jettison? Disable her ship more. Trashing life support can change anyone's mind. Trust me. So they want her alive. So they want the... They want to know the Thargoid mind so we've got four systems electrona egm 95 anka and main so i'm willing to bet either a there's lore in like each one of them or um and are these like nearby no one checked rod okay so there's electrona Ooh, we're close to mimbuni and mimbuni of course is where you get um is a permit lock system that was an azimuth uh base so interesting that we're in this particular area of space. Where's the Proteus wave from here? I think it's like, kind of like, uh, yeah, over here or whatever. Is it that one? I feel like that system name, should, that HIP number should be burned into our brains. I think it was like 16555. Is that Proteus? Is there an ammonia world here? I don't know. 
it's probably not important. On game pacing, you think they try to incorporate player responses to actions into the lore? Yes, but I think, like, they need to have more... Like, the way I would think about it is, like, they need to have more avenues, right? Like, not just a community goal with an A-B choice, and then they do another community goal with an A-B choice. Like, I think it should be, like, okay, there's two different community goals, and each of them has two different choices, and that could swing the plot in one of four ways slightly, right? And then maybe there's other actions, like, if you sell commodities to a certain area or do this, right? The problem is, like, I think, like, it's, like, it's hard without, like, a PR team to get player actions, like, recorded, right? I don't know. Maybe it's easy for them. Okay, I still want to visit Black Corona, because, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Your voice is so loud, though. Um, but I would like to see, um, like, just more avenues, right? Where it's, like, ways that players can actually impact things, either by, like, HIP 22460, that's the one. 22460. It is burned in my brain when I see it. It's like that wave of nostalgia, right? Okay, I kind of want to check this place out. Even if it's not relevant to the plot. I always like looking at these um, space facilities. I think it's like one thing where I would love to see them use them more. Like, it was really cool when they added in... Um, you can get, like, procedural missions, like defend the station. They're really just, like, little conflict zones, little skirmishes, but I love them. They're, they're, they really add to it. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We got an autopilot here. Ooh, Ming Fu is also permit locked in this area. I do not have the permit for it. Where do you get the Ming Fu permit? And is that maybe part of the mystery? Maybe that's where everything leads in the end. I'm just going to write that down. Ming Fu permit. I really like these uh, breadcrumb trails. Now, this one doesn't seem to be, like, mired in ciphers and codes and, like, convert this to hexadecimal and then turn it upside down, read it backwards kind of stuff. <clears throat> Which I'm kind of like, that's cool. I like that um, this is just purely, like, go here, find the thing, go to the next place, find the thing, hear the script, see the messages. Like, I think that's more accessible to the masses, and it just, like, it's it doesn't leave you having to like look things up on the forum when you're just like okay like sorry i missed my level five cypher cracking class like i do like a good cypher but um let's let's be real like people just brute force these that brute force these things right like people i i'm sure people just literally uh run it through every single type of cypher decoder until it's cracked Uh, you're wondering if we can find these black flight pilots to get something from them, maybe. So, okay, are these people, is this supposed to be like black flight, right? Which black flight was a wing of azimuth, right? Like black flight worked for salvation. Tell me if I'm correct, right? These guys kind of seem like low level henchmen. I doubt they know more than just like go get D2. I don't think like tracking them down would, would necessarily, uh, give us any answers but you know you never know if you could just get a lead from them that would be cool though if it's like yeah you have to find like a certain type of encounter in a certain system and they would like have NPC dialogue with you and then from that unique dialogue that would like give you a clue I would love that like I think there's still a few more mechanisms that they could throw into the game that would add to these sort of mystery breadcrumb trails that they do to just kind of extend them to make a little more variety, right? I think that would that'd be great. Or like, you go into... Um, like, they have graffiti now, right? You remember seeing the Thargoid graffiti in the stations? Like, imagine, like, placing, like, custom graffiti in a station with a decal that has, like, system coordinates or, or uh, planetary coordinates, right? Like, there are a few more elements that they could throw in there where it's like, okay, we... Like, it's not always a cipher, and it's not always a beacon, right? But I do like this. This is my favorite thing that Elite does. Uh, maybe Black Flight, it's just... Well, I mean, Black Flight's a good guess, because Black Flight would be after D2, or Azimuth, some other branch of Azimuth. 
Maybe the Thargoids too. Maybe if she can hear them in her head, maybe they can hear her and, and vice versa, right? They can hear her her sass to Admiral Tanner. So those would be my three suspects. Or maybe it's Salvation himself. His mind now in a Guardian computer. And again, is he controlling Guardian things now? Or or is he just still kind of relaying orders to, to Black Flight? But that is a good guess. I can see that being the case. All right, let's see what's going on with the Black Corona Cove. It is an industrial installation. Interesting. Let's see if there's any Black Flight people around here. It would be... I wish I had a manifest scanner. Black birds. Black birds. Birds fly. Black Flight. Could it be? Like Black Corona, Black Flight. I don't know. That's awfully suspicious. Is this a secret Black Flight base? Let's see if there's anything scannable. I should have brought like hacking limpets and stuff. Uh, I don't really see anything standing out to me, but... Let's see here. Is there like a ship log or anything like that? This looks like your run-of-the-mill industrial base. Hackable maintenance hatch. Yeah, so if I only had hacking limpets. But these folks working for the Black Corona Company, the Blackbirds Concilium, Black Flight. I think that's too that's too coincidental to pass up. There's gotta be some sort of connection to Black Flight. Maybe if we scan these ships, we'll get um, a bonus. I don't know. I do really like these facilities, though. It's very cool. Man, look at that night vision. I feel like the Predator. Is there a hole through here? I love just, like, flying through these bases. Like, I wish there was just more to do here. I wish you could get out, dock with them, walk around inside them. Like, imagine a con- like, not just a concourse, but like, a whole facility you could explore inside of them. It's like, you could steal like a document from the lab or something. That would be cool. And again, like, how hard would that be relative to, you know, like, adding a whole new atmospheric world, right? But this. I think this is one of those, like, yeah, cargo bays. That's cool. I really like the night vision. Uh, but you love how the inbox messages sent to players triggers players to explore tinfoil and investigate. Exactly! That is cool. Alright, well speaking of which, I guess there's probably nothing here, so let's try... Electrona. Maybe we'll try them in order. And this is like very, very, very close to Mabuti. I wonder if there's anything different in Mabuti to explore. Well, there's only one jump to electronic. Cannot comply. Oh yeah, okay. Frame shift drive charging. Richard Spiller. Known for his shaky hands. Never ask him for a glass of beer. Four, three, two. Suit one, T up on the station engage. interior. Oh my god, with EBA. I mean. Who knows what Frontier's got up their sleeve? Because they ain't telling us. Which I wish they would at least just hint a little bit more. I mean, Blue Triangle is a nice little hint, but I feel like that's narrative. There was supposed to be some sort of um, bigger feature or bigger rework that was supposed to happen. Fuel scooping. Fuel end of disengaged. Q1 or end of Q2? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a much bigger system. So let's just... Hold on, what's that in the chat? Travel in the lap of luxury with Soul Starways. Your guides to the great unknown. Damn tourists. <coughs> okay. So again, we might be looking for another strange looking signal. I mean, in theory, if there could be just nothing here. But we gotta look through this with a fine tooth comb. We gotta see everything. 
Gotta know. It might be worthwhile to go to the nav beacon, but hold on, let's see what happens when I go in this mode. Gate of Babylon. Lots of fleet carriers. And again, uh, just follow the fleet carriers, right? Okay, what is, these are just regular signal sources, I take it. Degraded emissions. Degraded emissions. Encoded emissions. I also need to do some material grind, but the one that I need to do really badly is the, the raw mats. What's over here? Resource extraction site. This would be a great place to hide um, a point of interest, right? Amongst all the other dots. Got Rust City. Resource extraction site. Cloud District. That's a great carrier name. Nav Beacon. Hmm. Hey, what up, Tim Turner? How you doing? You're new. You're new to to the Dangus or to Elite or or to everything. I'm new to this world. This is my first day. Ooh, a Federation capital ship. Let's see here. And Tim, I'd be curious if you if you if you uh, have been playing Elite long. Okay. I'm not seeing. Okay, there's an unidentified signal source, but that just means it hasn't been touched by man. Let's try and put ourselves around. Scan it the old-fashioned way, just looking at it. Oh, we put it emissions. Boring! Lush Mars Inhabitant. Again, th this could be a red herring system, right? Because there were four systems. Either there's something in all of them, and it will tell us, like, yeah, you, your princess is in another castle, or maybe... Okay, I think I need to go to the nav beacon. I think... If you're new to it all... Oh, Valor got you into this! Nice! Valor, the, the pusher, the elite pusher. But this is, like, if you're gonna push something, elite is a freaking amazing universe to be a part of. I mean, if you just get started in elite, there is so, so much content. <laughs> I mean, this is just, like, the latest story drop. I think they actually need to do a better job at, um... Uh, do, like, beacon tours and stuff like that. To, like, catch up on some other story beats, right? Well, was there a black base? Wait, what? What? Black base. So, black flight, we got black bird. Like, all these black flight-related references. That's interesting. Okay, let's just scan nav beacon. Whee! You thought I was going to hit that, didn't you? Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, no, th these are kind of spoilers, aren't they, Loot? Spoiler sport. Loot behave and don't scare off Tim. You can't, you can't tell what Loot what to do. He's just going to do it anyway. You just gotta let him do his thing. You have been warned. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything new. The thing is, too, like, Frontier have the ability... Ooh, there's a broadcasting system. Like, Frontier have the ability to not only uh, allow you to only see things when you're close to them, but also they have the ability to hide things in asteroid fields, which we found with the, uh, the dredger. Okay, there's a mega ship. This cap ship seems interesting. And then there's also like an industrial agency. Where are the fleet carriers? You said there was a black something, right? Back base. Oh, back base. It's not black base, it's back base. <laughs> Is there anything born watch? Yeah, there's nothing with the name black in it. 
Uh, should we go to the Federation cap ship? Maybe that's worth checking out anyway. We'll have to keep an eye out on... Oh wait, hold on. We saw it last time when we went into super scan mode here. So there is... Okay, there are two little exclamation marks. I'm assuming those represent resource extraction site and now we can... Like, in all likelihood, this is probably just not a system that has the next clue. It's probably in one of the other four. But I still want to kind of check out this capture. And I'm not, I'm not convinced yet. I'm not convinced. Last one was just called what? Like, Strange Ship Debris or something? So it could be, it could be just like slightly weird, right? Uh, Le Guin. Le Guin Port. OB. Cultivation. Main Enterprise. There's back base. Electronica. Supersonica. Okay. What do I intend to solve during the stream? Everything. Everything. Well, I would like to get to the, the, the end of whatever we can see here, because I don't know what, where it's going. So we'll see if there is a mystery or if, if it's already kind of like... Like, I'm assuming I want to I want to hear what what um, she found about Nemesis. Uh, and I'd also like to unlock uh, some of those caustic things. That's kind of my goal for today. And maybe kill a Thargoid. An Orthias would be nice. Uh, Rim Bobby, said, the thing you liked about Eve with the intro AI guide, which, uh, walking through the basics of the game, what to do in the game, no external tutorial in EV has, but a live in-game tutorial. What I would love is, like, even if it was, like, players could create, like, okay, so this is a big thing where, where <clears throat> I was thinking about, like, what would be a cool feature, right, that appealed to explorers, specifically, or... Or, or role players, or like lorists, or whatever, the, the archivists of the galaxy, right? And I think it would be really cool if we could like build tours and sell them, right? So imagine you dock on someone's fleet carrier, you go to their like Vista Genomics or like their exploration guy, and rather than just handing in your data, you could list and browse through available tours. And that tour might lead you from system to system. Like, maybe it's like seven systems. Go to the moon here. You buy that tour. It loads in, plots out a navigation chart, and then you just follow that tour to its completion. You get to see all the sites. And maybe um, with the tour, you could program little text blurbs for when that player arrives at a certain body or system. It'll You could program instructions or a little guided narration or whatever, right? Like, I would love the ability for players to create these kind of guided tours to say, like, yeah, if you want to know about the Salome lore here, like, like, just like a walking tour in a city or like a ghost tour, right? Like, people could be super creative with them, right? It's like, hey, check out Spatula's ghost tour. We go to, like, the ghost of Jupiter and then follow, you know, all the dead commanders and this person died here and they're, you know, they're said to still haunt the bathrooms late at night and you can hear the, the sound of dripping water as they shake their ghost pee-pee into the urinal. You know, okay, maybe they'd have to filter out stuff like that because maybe, maybe that's maybe that's why they don't do it. Okay, <laughs> now it all makes sense. But imagine this: like you could buy tours, you could rate tours, and then you'd you'd be like, I'm the commander with the highest rated tour, right? And it's like the Road to Riches tour, the uh, uh, Water World tour, like Earth uh, Earth likes outside the bubble tour, like like your black hole uh, black hole bonanza tour, right? And just like, you know, like, what are the most highly rated tours? I would love that. I'd love that, like, ability to do in game. Even if it was a third party tool, which I think you could, right? You could, in theory. Ooh. Not only is this a capital ship, this is a facility. Okay, this is super cool. Where is the cap ship? It's, like, in dock? I rarely come across these, actually. This is, this is quite interesting. Yeah, we got... Is that two capital ships? Both docked? I mean, why can't I land at this thing, right? So you're a horror fan. Oh, yeah, I would love... 
Like, space horror, cosmic horror is, like, the best. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We got, like, two capital ships here. Both in dry dock. How cool is that? Like, imagine if we could land on this station and just walk around on the concourse, look out and see, like, these capital ships being repaired. Oh, this is so cool. Hopefully this isn't illegal. I'm not going to get shot for this. Doing a trench run, Mom. Look at me. I'm doing a trench run. But get off the carrier. Oh, I got to turn my ship lights on. Aliens is your favorite sci-fi sci horror film. Yeah, I think Alien... It, well, Aliens, yeah. Like, uh, that's more of an action film. But um, Alien and Aliens are freaking phenomenal. And then Event Horizon is another one that I just freaking love. Like, anything that, that delves into cosmic horror and, like, you don't really even see the bad guys. It's just, like, psychological aspects too, right? Moon is another cool one. Although that's not really horror. I mean, there's some horrible concepts, but... Oh, hi! Ah! I love these little tunnels inside the space stations. Like, this is so freaking Star Wars! Like, the two little things can I fit through here? I think the front of the Python can, but the back is kind of chunky. Oh my lord! I managed to squeeze through. Tuck that booty, tuck that booty, Mr. Python. Flight assist off. That's cool. I like those little rooms, man. That's super cool. Flight assist on. But man, like, I wish we could uh, own a base. Like, I mean, this would be the next logical step from carriers, right? Is to own a little uh, star base. One frontier. One will we own little space facilities. And be able to design them and grind to add new modules so you could have your own whatever the hell this thing is like I don't know sometimes you look at sci-fi movies and it's like what is the purpose of this module <laughs> what does this do I seem like little electricity things go in between there but what is it actually for I guess in sci-fi you don't really need to bother explaining you can just be like it looks cool shut the hell up but what what, what goes in here Hey, Crawl, how you doing? A great old one and an influence on Alien it is The Terror from Space. The Space Terror. Terror from Space. That sounds like a cool movie. Well, I don't think there's anything here in this system. I'm reluctant to leave until I find some sort of breadcrumb, but... I've looked through this list multiple times. Don't think there's anything here. Like, my assumption is maybe one of the henchmen came to the system, there was nothing there, so they moved on. Well, look, we can come... Tiaka Elite Altruist Begging Cooperation? <laughs> this is like the Society of Elite Grocery Beggars. Okay. I could buy that. Alright, let's try the next system, and then, obviously, um, if we find nothing in two systems, then we know that's the pattern. If we find something in each system, we can come back here and see if we miss something. But EGM-95 is the next one that was mentioned. Cannot so let's time. check it out. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Where my hard points? Stop yelling at me! Just watching the spat man do his thing. Yeah, we're doing mystery investigations. This is old school. This is uh, classic Dengus. Put the old two, PI hat on. One, and if you guys are joining late, I'll show you this cool thing. I, I downloaded. Uh, oop, uh, hold on. Uh, a little chroma key thing here. That, okay. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, turn it off. Turn it off. I can't see. Oh no! There's a sun. There's a sun. Ah! Ah! Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Oof, okay. There we go. Okay. Now we can turn it back on. So I can put like chroma keys in the game and adjust the 
distance, although it's not disengaged. To, doesn't seem to work right now. I could make a foreground key. I don't know what that means. But I get all these cool little things that I can do. Yeah, there you go. I can block out my ship. Where is it? Seems to be like right about, okay, it's misbehaving right now because it knows that I want it to perform right now. But yeah, it's really cool. I can now put green screens in the game and have some real interesting things to do. So I'm really uh, interested to see what the next Dangus uh, can do. What, I, what, what I'll be capable of with all these new tools. Okay, so there's uh, four stars but no society here. Let's see. We got a few signal sources. Whoa, whoa. Clicked off the screen there. <coughs> no. Not really seeing anything here. I don't even think. Is there a nav beacon? There's got to be a nav beacon. We're in the bubble, right? Oh, degraded emissions. My old friends. Darkness? Only darkness. It's like, oh god. It's a cosmic horror. No! That's the name of my fleet carrier. Sometimes I've, I don't zoom in on stars enough, but you get really cool sounds with them. It looks like there is not much going on here. I kind of like how it pixelates and then kind of loads the image. Enhance. Enhance. You don't know. If this system is worth spending too much time in. Yeah, definitely play around with it, right? Like, I'll, I'll show you, like, well, let me let me see here if I can get in a camera mode and find a nice cockpit shot or whatever. And of course, I have to make it less blurry. There we go. And now, watch, okay, hold on, hold on, actually. Let me just get some light on my face there. So if I put the chroma key, and I might have to now make it a background key. Hopefully it works. Uh, why you do this? It was working before! Oh, here we go. Huh. That's not right. Okay, that, that, you saw it? Yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's not working great right now. But yeah, essentially I can block it. What? What do you do? But there's all sorts of cool things. Like I can go cart... I don't know what cartoon mode does. Um, but you can like literally like on the fly kind of like add effects and be able to adjust them. Oh, cartoon mode I guess like gives like... Uh, what do you call it? Like edge shaping or whatever? It's like gives, gives outlines or something? Could be good to give me more... Uh, more of a... Oh, sorry. Let me just get back in the light. I'm trying to... Oh, no, what have I done? Stop, stop. So many variables. I don't know if that one seems to make a difference. This thing might be screwed up. Maybe I accidentally did something to break it. Oh, look at that, black and white. You want black and white? Nostalgia mode? That's kind of cool, eh? And again, like, you can pick, uh... I guess you could probably upload different palettes or whatever. But, like, how stylistically cool is this, right? Like, I don't know... what I'm gonna use it yet for, but, uh... And if I could just get some damn light on me. Or maybe go different camera mode. Right? I mean, obviously, I gotta play around with it more, but I really freaking like the uh, the way this works, right? Like, I can just pop in color characters, add some bloom, Cinetools, which is like film of gold? I don't know what that is. I haven't played around with half of these, but like, let's say, Dusty Old Man. That's a filter. They're classic teal. All these different uh, kind of 
Hundred dollar stripper, apparently. <laughs> if that's for certain, uh, for the spatula sex scenes. But I love that you can just like kind of play around with the way that the game looks. So obviously, for you, you know, photographers out there, you know, if you want to, you know, do a sunset filter, right? Have the sun coming from there. Change the sharpness. Like it's really cool, right? You can play around with these tools and just make it look however you want, right? Or like a tint, or a tilt shift, or a vignette, vibrance. So I, I'm like, you know, I gotta play around with this more and kind of, uh, you know, sort of figure out what pieces I like from it. But I think like just having a tool like that is gonna really allow me to do some really cool new things, like especially with the green screen stuff. All right, what was the next system? Anka. Uh, Anka with two A's. Yeah, this one. Okay, we'll try this one next. Now we're getting close to LFT 1848, uh, 34, which is another one I have bookmarked. Why? Shalatula. Shalatula sounds familiar. Why would I care about Shalatula? Uh, this one also has a description. Dr. Maxwell Chaudhry has chosen to head up this organization of pilots, some of which are new to clandestine operations. This is like baby spy planet. The stated goal of our uh, Ryloff is to support Imperial efforts providing supplies and logistics. So, wait a minute. Is that a player faction thing? Or is that like... real? Ryloff's real goal is to slip across Federation borders and destabilize their governments. Okay. Obviously, you guys are like baby spies if you're putting your goal in the system description. You fools. Frameship drive charge. Um... Commanders of the Damned. Yeah, I could do like a horror episode. Maybe in, in time for Halloween or something. I didn't do a Halloween episode last year. Oh, I should. I'm going to plan that for this year. I want to do more space horror. I think space horror is very hard to pull off, right? Because like... I think with horror, there are two things that really matter. One is the ambiance, right? Which honestly, Elite does led to that, right? Like, there's a lot of natural ambiances that can be used for horror. But I think audio is a huge part of it, right? It's all about the audio. I can't do my typical narration. My oh, hold on. Notable degraded emissions. So that's different from just, like, regular degraded emissions. Okay, there's gotta be something there. We have found something. A friend found. There's one more system we haven't checked, but let's see what this is all about. Because again, it's like a named signal source. There's no expiration date. This is definitely something. Okay, dropping in on this notable, notable degraded emissions. It's like we're, we're something's off about these degraded emissions. Come on, guys, tickle that like button. It will make Spatman laugh. Watch. <laughs> you make me laugh. And that's got confused with the green slime screen. So, like, a green screen is like, when you put up that green, I can replace that specific color with any image, right? So, if I just see green out of my cockpit windows, I could be flying through a cityscape or a water world, for example. And let's just say I've got some pretty interesting ideas to just do some tests with over the next couple weeks and when it comes to thunder dangus i'm gonna really uh try to do some new techniques all right we are here oh okay we got a ship log so i'm gonna assume this isn't d2 ship and that probably some uh one of these uh black flight people that are following or if it is black flight uh probably bit the dust here because there's enough ship parts around here to imply that someone blew up. What? Denengi 6E88. Message corrupted analyzing. Transcription failed. What in the ifu? Ah, ah. Like, what the fuck is that? Okay. So wait, is this... 
Okay, can we go to camera mode and just see if there's any markings on this wreckage? Like, does this look like a piece of a black diamondback to you? Flight recorder. I love that when you zoom in, you get this much detail. Like, the freaking writing. A triangle! Wait, what type of triangle is that? Is that Aegis? The level of detail is phenomenal. Recovery beacon. Identification. Schmingi. Hard to identify. This might just be like always looking the same. Oop. I don't know. Triangles. Kind of looks like a uh, Legend of Zelda. Did I go to UCL Film School? You always wanted to go there. I never went to. I went to Comedy College and then dropped out. <laughs> Legit. Like I took a comedy course at college. I never went to film school. I made films and stuff. But like, sh mostly short films. But I'm uh, one of those like, uh, I don't need no school. I teach myself. I got the internet. So what kind of like, do these look like pieces of diamondback or is it a different type of ship? <coughs> it's sort of hard to tell. We're doing a little ship forensics here. That could be like a piece of a diamondback. Looks like it had red paint. Which is not black. Ooh, wait. It's a python. That's a python cockpit if I ever saw one. Yeah, so we're looking at an exploded python. So was D2 flying in a python? Also, look at that cockpit. That really got burnt out, eh? But that is definitely, that is definitely the python, right? If we go back to my python. Yeah. Like, it's that, that exact shape. <coughs> it's an arcs triangle. Oh, is it? Is it actually? Uh, oh, no, don't go to the frontier store. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, it's not an arcs triangle. An arcs triangle has the tippy top there. There's also a triangle here for uh, credits. Seems like triangles and currencies tend to go together. Let's go to the codex. See if we can identify that triangle. I don't know if that makes a difference. Like, this is the guardian triangle. Or wait, you can't see it once you go in. But you can kind of see it there, right? Guardian triangle is kind of like upside down, but then there's a right side up triangle. Yeah, it's not an Aegis triangle. Because Aegis triangle has like the little, like, it looks like a sexy tulip in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just like a standard triangle. There's too many damn triangles, I tell ya. But that's interesting. So, I don't know what what this means six what is about with that first part like is that emergency emergent ener energy energy 6 e 88 dash is there a sixth planet 6 e in the system no there's nothing we got nothing here is that just because i didn't uh oh i have to go to super cruise okay let's go to super cruise Frameshift drive charging. Uh, you made a bunch of short films as well. You're just making movies. Um, uh, watching this three, as far as we go back to two, it. Well, you one, know what's cool is engage. you can just like, use video games to make movies, and then you don't need to worry about cast and crew. I mean, other than if you want to get other people, like, helping you film. Uh, but you don't have to worry about, like, uh, you know, like, like, budgets and props and stuff like that, because it's all digital. So I kind of get my filmmaking, uh... I guess the bone or whatever satisfied through uh, doing like elite dangerous content. These are like fleet carriers. Why don't I just know they are fleet carriers when I can see them on the damn map? A fleet carrier named Stacy. Oh, Sedda, that's a good one. The Schlosh Adla. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else here. 6E88. There's something in that title that stands out to me. 
And then, like, is that just, like, a bunch of typos? Like, that looks like... It looks like... What the fuck is that? That's basically what it looks like. It's corruptedly screening. Well, hold on. They said something about the main system as well. I'm kind of interested to... Main. That's just over here. Ooh, Poisodon. Yeah, remember, we found, it, we found a system called Poisodon. I believe, like... Poisonon had some sort of connection to Proteus, right? In uh, Greek mythology, of course. Which Frontier has huge loves for. What up, Jimmy Lemke? You would love to make a short film as well. Well, hell, oh, let's let, let's collaborate. Let's make a short film in Elite. It's been a while since I've made like a real life short Three, film. Um, two, last year, one, a friend of mine engage. was like, "Hey, we're doing this like 48-hour film festival." And if you've ever done a 48-hour film festival or film challenge, the way it works is like. You show up on a Friday, 7 p.m., they give each of the groups, like, you all sign up as a, a group. You might have your roles, you know, okay, I've got four actors, and one editor, and one cinematographer, and I'm going to direct, and blah, 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 right? And uh, you sign up as a group, and then, uh, like, let's say 7 p.m. Friday, they give you, uh, essentially, a genre, a prop, a line of dialogue, and maybe a character or a location. And you basically have then 48 hours to write, shoot, edit, and hand in um, that final film. Uh, and if you don't, you, you don't get disqualified, and then they obviously have like a competition screening where they'll screen all the short films and then do awards and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we, we made one for it. Um, we literally got it in, I think, like... I don't know, two minutes before the deadline? Something ridiculous like that. Like, I think you had to start uploading to a server at a certain timestamp, right? And it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a, a big group that, that uh, my bud got together. Um, and we had the script written by, the, you know, like, three in the morning, kind of on the first night. And then it was just like, okay, let's, let's knock this out and film it. Like, you don't sleep during these things, right? But it was, it was fun. I had a good time. I like those things, because there's like that extra challenge where you don't know what you're getting into. You just got to be creative and all that sort of stuff. All right, let's see if there's anything here in main. I think I should just probably go to the nav beacon first. Kind of eliminates the need to scan everything. Makes life easy. Good old nav beacons. Bacon. This is interesting. This breadcrumb went far further than I thought it would. Like, I was kind of worried. Oh, yeah, you just go to the system. There'll be, like, one message. But there were three messages. And then that led somewhere else. And then that led to four other places. That's kind of cool. Now, so far, we've only found one anomaly out of four systems. I haven't seen anything here yet. But maybe there'll be something. You're still recovering. Did you have like, um, you, like still from uh, your your sickness, right? Like you were sick last week. Sorry that's taking so long, man. I mean, definitely my advice is don't play elite when you're super sleepy or super sick, especially if you don't have rebuy. <laughs> I've made so many late night mistakes by playing too late into the evening. Thankfully, never uh, had to like not have rebuy. In fact, the one time on my second account where I did encounter that, like, dreaded end screen where I didn't have rebuy, and it was on a stream, too. I was chasing um, Zarek Newell one, as Bradford. Engage. That was, like, the only stream I did full Bradford for, and I'll never do that again. Hear my voice. Um, but yeah, like, uh, uh, you actually don't, if you don't have rebuy, there is, like, a certain amount of debt that you can go into. Like, you can go below zero, and just, like, it'll garnish your wages or whatever. Okay, something was there and disappeared. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um... Doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary. Convoy dispersal patterns. Those are just... There are asteroid clusters here. What did that message say? 6E88. Could that mean asteroid cluster 6? 
in main. Uh, I mean, it's worth a try. You're sick, but you also had an episode which caused you to be shaky, so your temp was high for days. Oh no. Yeah, the fever stuff, like, that is the stuff that drives me nuts, right? When you're fevered and, and bedridden, it's like, I can deal with a little sniffle, I can deal with a little runny nose, you know, a cough or whatever. But when you're, like, bedridden, I remember being, like, so sick that for, like, three days all I could have was, like, enough energy to go downstairs, buy a popsicle from the store, go back up, eat the popsicle, and then just go back to sleep. I think I slept for, like, 45 hours in, like, two days. I think I was awake for a total of three hours. Just long enough to scarf down a popsicle and then return to coma. I'm always suspicious of these belt clusters, ever since we found that dredger in them. It's just like, because no one ever stops at the belt clusters. I mean, I do, but no one else does. And there's usually a good reason for that, because there's nothing other than a smattering of rocks. In theory, yeah, you can't mine these, but why would you? Yeah, I think this is a, a dead end, so to speak. Looking for any, like, secret pirate bases on the dark side of the asteroid, you know? You gotta cover all your bases. Because I'm thinking, like, okay, because, like, what is 6E? E is, like, A, B, C, D, E is 5. 6, 5. Or could that be hexadecimal? Because they do that a lot. Hold on. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal decoder. So let's... Or ship, ship it, like, decoder. What is 6E in hexadecimal? That is N. And then what's 88? 88 is not a thing. So I don't know. Well, okay. Well, hold on. N. There was the original Nagaria in the system. Maybe if we go back to Naguriyama? Naguriyanka. So yeah, this is interesting. It kind of took us on a little runabout here. Well, let's just look at it. Is there anything that's like 6E? Not really, because that's four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. The World Serpent. But why would she go back to the original system? That doesn't make sense. I mean, in theory, maybe one of these... I don't think Anka really had anything in it at all. Where was the other place? EGM95 also was pretty barren. What about Electrona? We didn't find anything there. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's no, like, E. Maybe it means, like, a 6E size cargo bay. Hmm. I mean, we're still in main system. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't find the. Wait. Why are there fragments? Is an NPC mining here? Oh, how cute. The sheep. Interesting. Okay. Hello, the sheep. The sheep and barrel roll? <laughs> Of course, these two idiots would be mining uh, at a small little asteroid cluster. So does anyone, did anyone know any more clues? I'm kind of a little bit stumped here for you. 
Do you want to say everything here? You're not looking for sympathy. Oh, yeah. Well, no worries. Yeah. I hope you do get better, though. My thought is, too, like, we're also very close to Mimbuni. Where was Mimbuni? There's Mimbuni. Like, I mean, just the proximity makes me suspicious, right? Because Mimbuni... If we go in here, I believe this is where the Bright Sentinel used to be, or whatever. Um, it is an Azimuth Biotech system. Hold on, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, but there's no six. Unless maybe a planet's missing, but... Is this kind of the end of the... This is kind of a little bit of an anticlimactic bread tr breadcrumb trail, if that's kind of like where it ends. Are you sure that's her wake? One of them is, can't tell for sure. She gate crashed a wedding and sent ships scattering. Who takes a wedding barge to Shin Chengdi? People live in Chengdi, probably. Shut up, you two. We got a job to do. Analyze the wakes. None of them give her name. It's hard to have. She's hardly gonna have D2 stamps on her ship either. Would make her lives easier if she did. One system each. I'll search Electrona, EGM95, Anka, and that leaves me with Maine. So we know that it was Anka, right? Where, where the breadcrumb went. So maybe let's try going back to Anka. I'll let you hear my crusty voice. <laughs> crusty is a weird way to describe your voice. Alright, back to Anka. So that's where we did, I think, find debris with a message. Though this might be variably the, the end of the breadcrumb, like, I don't know. Seems kind of it's like again. That's like don't leave me in suspense like that. Is that D two ship that blew up? Is that uh, her pursuers? Like the henchmen? What happened to the other three henchmen? Did they go back to Mimbuni? Are they Azimuth people? Are they uh, Black Flight? Are they working for the Goids? Working for Independence? Are they just goons for hire? Fuel scooping. So where Fuel was that? Disengaged. Chachula. Wait, I don't... Are we in the right system? No. Frameshift drive charging. We're in the system with Shatula, which is... LFT 18... This is the... Yeah, this this one I had bookmarked. I don't know why. Ready to engage. Four. Three. But we want to be an Anka. One. Engage. You're a weird one for sure. Let you hear my crusty voice. You like my crusty? This is my real voice. I'm doing a voice to all stream. This is what I really sound like. Ow. <coughs> that really hurts. Chunky, <laughs> if you keep doing that, your voice is going to sound like that. So yeah, notable degraded emissions. So this is where we found this last breadcrumb. So first of all, let's just pop a little squat in this system and see... Oh, it's all the... Yeah, the carriers. We did this before. Okay. Red Dot. I get it. Like, that site. CPO 24. Zelano. Why do I know that name? Curd. Just like, would any of these systems... To Simbimba. Furry. I wonder if there's like any system that could maybe match that, like 6E88. There's something in the 6E88 that I think is a clue. Let me flip this over. 6E88. I'm writing this down on paper. Because when you do these old school mysteries, it's a lot of fun to just like put a little piece of paper or a notebook or something. Uh, old school. Paper style. That last sentence, too, is just kind of like, is that just like a scrambled, or is there something hidden in there, right? My Batman streams have been fab. Oh, God. Yeah. Those those ones hurt after, but they're worth it. It's always fun to do that. So, 
again, like, what's that first line? E dash engi, engi. E dash engi. Is there anything with engi? Is it maybe a system name? But why would you put the system name in the title? It seems like emergency, like emergency, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe coordinates, right? Okay, so is there anything with like 6E or 88 in the system name? There's D98. Looking for 88 or 6E, but I don't know. 6E seems like that would be like a planet or a moon, like moon 6E, right? It's like planet 6, moon E. So 66 or 6E or 88. seen anything here. You wanted to tag along and do an on-foot mission to help find mats with suits? Yeah, we need some freaking mats, man. We need to get some... Okay, so there's also... Ooh, interesting. There's a lot of 88s. 88 Aquarii. That's a little far. Are any of these close? No, they're all kind of far. I think the closest one seems to be 88 D Tauri. Which is actually very close to a maelstrom. Let me look at this in the Thargoid War lens. So it's not currently being attacked. Can I look at system data? No, I've never been there. I mean, would D2 head towards a maelstrom? Maybe be kidnapped to a maelstrom? What is that 88 dash, right? 88 dash. Could it be 88 dash? Uh, D Tori? Is that possible? You only have two pals in games and they're seldom on. Well, yeah, you know, you gotta start adding people and then you at least see, you know, lovely folks here online. But it definitely isn't like it used to be, you know, like, like, there used to be tons of people. And you start, it's it's sad when you see them kind of like drop off slowly, right? Interesting, I'm 88 light seconds from the notable degraded emissions. 88 is popping up everywhere, this must be a clue. Uh, I feel like this is a dead end. look at the local sector like everything kind of seems to be within a 50 mile 50 light year kind of radius anything with 88 you got 88 anywhere here this is called brute forcing <laughs> i'm just like literally looking through the stars until you find something it very rarely works but can you imagine though if you were just doing this and you found like Roxlet. It was something that like is literally just called Roxlet. You couldn't type it in. But if you just literally spent the time to look through the entire bubble, you would find it. And if you don't know what Ropla Roxla is, well I uh get your tinfoil hat, prepare for a long journey. <laughs> Tarek Tour is over there. That's where you can unlock, um, uh, what should we call it? That, that thing that I need. I mean, what about Poisodon, right? Is there anything in Poisodon? Why don't I have the system data for this? Did I, I, I swear I've been there. Let's try Poisodon and let's try, um, Uh, you're trying to build out your own small squad. Alas, it didn't work. Well, feel free to join Dangus Investigations. We do have a little squadron and a background faction. We do the BGS. We, you know, push people around, <laughs> turn everything Three, into a chaotic two, anarchy where one, everyone engage. suffers and well has a great time. Anarchy is what you make of it, okay? It just means no, 
no formal government. It doesn't mean that, like, you know, you're not supposed to kill people. It just means we're not going to give you a fine for it if you do. And if you can, if you get down with that, you come on, join the dice. System scan complete. So let's Fuel inherit scooping. poison on. It doesn't look like there's actually anything, but hold on. Fuel scoop can I do the? Can I do the thing? Can I do the boom boom? Oh yeah, there's nothing here. Except a very nice, neat line of signal sources. Almost suspiciously aligned. Like, who arranged these? And they're all like degraded emissions. Interesting. Why is there like a ring of degraded emissions? What's this guy? That's the anomaly, right? It's just like they're all in a row. Like, almost in a perfect circle. This Is this not weird? I guess, like, there's an, a couple of them that are kind of off and the spacing isn't perfect, so it could just be a coincidence. But I don't think I've ever seen this. Just literally, like... A full 360 just row of degraded emissions. That's just very odd. I wonder, do any of these have, like... So that one has 15 minutes remaining. So if they have timers, they're not, like, permanent sources, right? I doubt that Frontier would hide things in a randomly generated um, signal source. I think the reason for that is, like... And, and this kind of came with my understanding when they were explaining how these signal sources really work. Because there's a lot of random factors at play that draw from the BGS, the system state, the types of factions that are in there, all that sort of fun stuff. Every signal source is a little different. They couldn't really guarantee one unless they just made it a fixed signal source. And the fixed signal sources do not have a ticking clock. So that's usually a nice uh, little bit of giveaway. I say bodies one of one. Like, what's the berry center here? I'm curious. I want to know what's going on over there. What are those two, two degraded signal sources, like, centered around? Uh, the Mac grind? Yeah, the Mac grind is not super fun. You're not sure all the rules. There literally are no rules. It's Degas Investigations. You make your own rules. <laughs> Just have fun. That's the only rule. Uh, then next is the engineering grind. Yes. Oh, yeah. That one is a grind. That one is a grind. Once you get a little bit done, you're, you're like, cool. And then, uh, Ray Mobulo's with the horseman. Or the hoseman. Located around Mitzi. There are a bunch of active player groups, Black and Peace Initiative, Black Widow, and the shits of Kumo Crew. That's cool. Black Widow sounds like a kind of cool faction name. I'm looking for like unusual degraded emissions, like they seem to just like or notable degradable emissions or whatever they call them. You run into players and open there. See, I, I, I think that's one of my favorite things, is just running into people and open. Oh, wait. So these guys weren't really on a very center, because they're not even close to each other. Which is odd. Like, I guess they look... Wait, what? 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 Is there a degraded emissions there or not? What's going on? You see that, right? That's bizarre. Okay. Alright, I'm even more curious. The Angry Marines. You have to change your name like four times. I think, yeah, I think the point, the point is like, um, the best way to build connections in the game is, yeah, you go to places where people aren't open, and then just, you know, like, send them friend requests in the game, right? If you uh, do that, then you meet people that, you know, actually play the game, right? Of course, they will drop off at some point or another, but many of the people I've met along the way, uh, that are in my list online right now, a lot of them just, like, I ran into them in the game. Alright, fine. It didn't look like there's any rogue planet here, no Roxla, no blue triangles. But I'll drop in at this 
the mission source anyway, just see what's up. Because I don't know, it's, it's, it's got my curiosity. What up, Valor? Me Oni. Oni Onio? The horseman shows up as the ho- <laughs> Why? Because it's semen, right? The ho semen. Oh my god, Elite, honestly, stop censoring stuff. Put your British sensibilities aside, just let us have our fun. If I wanna, you know, you, like you've got a system in this game called Dong Wang, and you're gonna censor the word hello, because it's got hell in it. Like, come on. All right, we just got some poor old sod. I do like how you can actually, though, um, you can go through and look at the different pieces of the ship that's floating around and determine what kind of... Ooh, modified consumer firmware. What else we got here? I could use a couple of these. Cargo scoop deployed. But I like how, you know, if you actually go and like find look at the different pieces, like let's see if we can identify like what type of ship this was. And I think it's kind of cool, right? Dude, that looks like an eagle. Yep. That's a uh, piece of an eagle. So it's not just one ship here, because that looks like part of a vulture. It's definitely like the back one side of a vulture. You can kind of see the engine there. So we had one eagle, one vulture. What's this? I don't know. Looks like it could be like the roof of a dropship or something. But I do love the idea that, like, you know, you're jumping into this random mess of ship parts. They could just be hunks of metal, but they actually are, like, pieces of ships. Ooh. I recognize that trim a little bit. Is that... Is it maybe a Federal Corvette? Or maybe a Python? Those look like Python bits. Which is causing my ship great concern. That looks like Orca bits. Or maybe dolphin bits. Probably orca bits, though. But it's kind of cool that, like, yes, Dong Wang. We were looking at that originally for uh, uh, a player base. Dong Wang. The great Dong Wang. Then, of course, uh, there was that one stream that we did the Battle at Aske. Aske is another wonderfully named system. And they don't censor that. I think technically it's AS, not ASS. And maybe a conda. It could have been a conda. And we'll just see like floating kidneys, Dark Heavy's floating kidneys, of which he's lost 70 of them by this point, so I'm like, where's he getting all these kidneys? Maybe he's finding them in signal sources like this. A Tesla. Ooh, give me that sweet, sweet materials. Galvanizing allies. It's one of those things where I'm like, I don't really need it, but then it's like, two months later I'll need it. And, oh, oh, is that Death Star warping in? Okay, that scared me a little bit. Because, yeah, sometimes, um, the demo saying, like, like, they do have a triggers where, like, sometimes picking up a certain item in, um, a zone like this can actually trigger pirates. Cargo scoop retracted. Oh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in Poison on. Well, I said we check the Mimbuni. Mimbuni might be worth a little pixie, but I might be kind of stumped. I, I kind of feel stumped right now. Like, I don't know if that was the end of it. Cannot like, it comply. feels like there should be more. Because we, we only got this... Like, we don't know what that last message is from. Like, is that from one of the baddies? Is it from D2 herself? I mean, D2's earlier stuff was voice activated, or, uh, sorry, voice acted, so you would assume Four, that maybe they three, would do some more two, voice acting if it was one, D2. Engage. So my suspicion is that was a henchman getting blown up and saying, what the hell? So maybe the henchmen that were trying to capture D2, either A, were sent by Tanner to, like, capture her in a friendly way, like they weren't trying to kill her, or B, sent by Blackflight Nazimuth, which could still be controlled by Mr. Salvation. Um, and then maybe there's a third faction that we don't know about, or a third, um, uh, like,
like the Goids or something like that. Maybe they are after D2 as well. Maybe they're the ones that got her. Or maybe D2 called the Goids for support. Well, I mean, it sounds like she can hear the Goids. I don't know if it's a two-way communication, and I don't know whether they would do anything for her. Like, I think obviously the value in D2 is, oh, then we can understand kind of what they're saying, right? Which I'm surprised we haven't had any a little bit more, like, I would like to know some things about Goid culture. Right? Like, when, what time do they eat? What, 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 um, do they poop? You know, uh, what are their pooping customs? Do they use the three seashells from Demolition Man? Do they have giant space toilets? There's so much I'd like to know. So here at Mimbuni, Prospects Deep is the, um, the place that everyone gets their stuff from. I think it might be good to go do a nap beacon thing. find the old nap beacon. Now, surprising I've not been, like, attacked or anything, right? Like, I was kind of thinking, like, oh, you know, it'd be cool is, like, you find the wreckage and maybe, like, a black flight ship shows up or something. Like, that would have been a nice little, I guess, bookend. If this is kind of where the mystery leads to, is just like, yeah, someone got blown up. Then, obviously, either, A, we haven't decoded the, with the meaning of the 88. There's got to be something 88 dash. And 6E. The, the, those can't not have meaning. Now either 6E is hexadecimal for N. N-88. Uh, didn't see she tried to communicate in the first audio file? Maybe. Hold on, let me do the nap beacon first and then I can... I'm, I, I need to take a quick bio break too, so... But this is really cool. I mean... I think the main takeaway is that Salvation is not dead, which was a theory I had. I'm like, I literally had the theory that he uploaded himself to an AI consciousness. And he's going to be an AI. I think I even said it was Guardian. I'd have to go back and rewatch the streams. But I, uh, that was my kind of hope, right? Because I thought, like, Salvation was a really, really cool character. And, like, there's no way you can just, like, kill him like that. Like, it's, you gotta, you gotta do more with Salvation. And I'm glad that it seems to be heading in that direction. Because the galaxy needs a good antagonist. Maybe from here we'll see something with Dash 88. Hmm. I wonder if maybe on here, if I put like star dash 88. No? Eighty-eight dash six E. If you put like a star, does that like do the Boolean thing? Is this Boolean logic? No, it's not. Scan detected. I'm half tempted to look it up. I don't know if there's gonna be uh, if anyone has actually like solve this, if there's anything more, if we've seen everything that we have, I don't know. There's probably a form thread on it. But let's head to Prospects Deep. Because that is, like, a known Azimuth biotech settlement. And there could be something there. drive charging. You never know. Obviously, this is, you know, if you get the Mimbuni permit, this is where you want to go, the Prospects Deep. That's where you can buy your, uh, I believe it's like the, they have a tech broker there that can get you the sweet, sweet, sweet uh, modified guardian weapons. The short cannons with the long range, I swear to you that that is cream of the crop. That is my, my absolute favorite. Although I believe you only get them in size two. But I don't know. Um, maybe I will do a quick bio break. I will look this up. Uh, see if there's any more pieces that we missed, because I think we got everything. There were three logs in the Nemesis investigation. Obviously, four people in pursuit, and then we found one last signal. 6E88 dash number sign at. Dash number sign at. What could it mean? And I mean, like, does that even translate... Because that doesn't relate to the system they were in. There was no 6E there, right? How do you get long-range shards? Well, I'll show, I'll show you, Carl. So, well, 
the first things first is if you do not have the Mimbuni permit, you have to get the Mimbuni permit. And to be honest, I don't even remember where you where you go for that. I think you have to find um, there's like I think maybe in Viracocha there's like a, a mega ship. Maybe it's not here. I don't know where it is. Um, I would look up how to get the Mimbuni permit because essentially you have to get in with Azimuth. Right? That was, uh, the permit was originally offered as part of a CG. Because back when it was like Azimuth versus Aegis, or, or Salvation versus Aegis, we didn't know Salvation at the time was Azimuth. Um, they were doing CGs and you could support either side, right? And if you supported Azimuth in one of the sides, you got the Mimbuni permit, and you could get in here. And now this place, Prospect's Deep. Oh, you have the Mimbuni permit. Okay, great. Then you saved yourself a lot of grind by already having it, by already having done it. Um, and you come to this place, which is called Prospects Deep. It's on 3A. Just, just looking for other breadcrumbs here. Uh, but we'll head down there, and I'll do a buy break there. But we'll, uh, before we do, I'll look at the... Uh, I'll show you the tech bro cup. Now keep in mind, uh, the materials that you need to unlock these things are not your normal run-of-the-mill materials. They are, of course, materials that you must acquire from the blue triangle. Or, I mean, sorry, guardian bases. So you need, like, a lot of, like, those guardian technology components. I don't know if... I think you need weapon components, which, to get... I think you have to go to the other type of guardian ruins and insert the relic into the... into the put the square peg in the square hole after you uh, light up the base kind of deal. That in itself is kind of neat until you have to do it 2,700 times to get all the materials you need. Then it becomes annoying. Alright, looks like Prospect's Deep is on the night side. You're maxed out on those mats. Oh, you grinded that already? Damn, okay, so you're farther you're farther than me, man. Oh, you have the ghost hit cannons and the plasma oh, chargers. See? Engaged. Okay. Like I only have like I think a well. I've got a bunch let me put it this way. The shard cannons are where it's at, man. The long range shard cannons are so sweet. Those are what I was using in my heat build. They do generate a lot of heat. But oh my lordy, they are like it's like sniping with shotguns. And when you're talking about hitting those hearts, those are the plasma chargers are, I think, my two favorite. The Gauss cannons, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I've always, I used to like railguns, and then I kind of, like, moved away from them. I think that their heat dynamics are a little bit harder to uh, handle. Okay, we'll come in and land at Prospects Deep here. I do always love uh, some of the custom settlements that they have look really cool, like the engineering bases. I feel like this one is just sort of your one of the mill. Like, I wish they'd done something a little more for this one. And maybe they did, I don't know. Like, maybe they put an extra dome or something, but I really do like the engineering bases. And, like, for any place that is... Oh, five is mine. Okay, that's over there. For any place like this that is sort of a known commodity, right? Where there's unique stuff. I wish they would do more uh, handcrafted stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Reports of heavy traffic right. around Don't this facility. Please take care. Landing gear down, and here we are. Landing gear deployed. Oop. Little snag. Hey, see you, Ray. Have a good one. And duckity do. So, yeah, you come here to Mimbuni, you come to this little uh, uh, Prospects Deep place, and then from here, in the contacts, there is a tech broker, Mr. Eugene Bass. Uh, and then uh, under weapons. So you can get these modified shard cannons, right? Obviously, you get all your normal unlocks. Mostly everything is unlocked. I think I just don't have... Um, 
the shard cannon size three turreted and the plasma charger turreted those ones i need more of them weapon blueprints and the technology components and i hate that it makes you bring microcontrollers it's so annoying um then obviously you've got your modified plasma chargers which are great the problem with the modified ones is you have to pay the material cost for each and every single one so if i want a new class 2 shard cannon i have to put up all of those materials for each one which i think is a steal right like it's it's terrible they're 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 making us grind with that which is super annoying right now, apparently i have the technology components what i just need is weapon blueprint fragments one per which is fine but then you also need to get power converters which is a commodity which you have to go source from a market so it's like all these extra steps just to get one thing but these puppies are 100 percent worth it they're awesome and other than that i've got everything else unlocked in the guardian tree which is like huge relief you just feel very good when that is completed might as well hand in some exploration data here let's uh it'll just bump up our reputation with uh azimuth oh so slightly not that, you know, they are the bad guys, but I am apparently, like, in good standing. Good to see you here at Prospects Deep, says Director Allison Miller. I wonder what my actual uh, faction ranking I'm allied, apparently. Because I did a lot of work for them when I thought they were the last greatest hope for humanity. And, uh, you know, leave me alone, okay? Everyone made the same thing. Uh, that's a nasty prep to do that. I mean, look, it's like, I get it. You, you don't want to have everyone having engineered stuff. And why would you unlock the basic one if you get the engineered one? So that's be some sort of balance there. Um, me personally, I would rather have the balance just be like the power cost of the device or something like that. Like something that actually like organically prevents you from doing it unless you uber over modify your build to like you know do that or whatever uh power message that's not what i want i want the local news is that it There's, this is all that's remember when the local news actually had like random stuff in here like you could come to a station and find ciphers and codes hidden in the local news i kind of missed that to be honest it was sort of neat to stumble across right and again it's just like there's all these components they can use for mysteries i'm gonna disembark and go check out the concourse but just like, and you don't have the Mamudi permit. Oh no. You're still at negative 75 with the Aussie boys? Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if there's an alternate way to, to get that permit. But look at that beautiful hazard chip kit. Which, by the way, uh, newsflash, if you have chip kits and you go take caustic damage, apparently caustic damage is amplified by the chip kits. Don't ask me why. It's a bug. But I freaking love the hazard chip kit, especially for the Python. The Python and the Cobra in particular, I think, look so dope. But that is the probably like the most value I feel like I've ever got for spending arcs. Mm, yes, Senior Cuervo. Actually, I've got this Centaria, uh, Centenario Aneo tequila on my desk right now and that is probably the best i've ever had except when i went to mexico and tried like the actual i uh, went to a tequila tasting test hello dead sir salut salut and squat <laughs> look at this a bunch of npcs here just trying to sleep you know what i like to do i come up real close to them wake up wake up you're gonna miss your flight Oh, Dead Star just, just making the moves. Just making the moves. What would, what would you do if someone came up to you at a bus shelter and you're sleeping in a dark corner and they started doing that? <laughs> I wouldn't expect to live long. I would expect that would be a rebuy moment. I also wonder, can we get up there? I wish you could still jump when you're in these stations. I get it, because it's like mag boots or whatever for the outposts. I just want to, I want to get up there and then walk around where I shouldn't. Why do you restrict me? Oh, wait, hold on. Can I get up there? 
Oh, that would be so nice. Imagine I could like creep creep on the rafters like a ninja. I think there's a hard, there's a hard invisible wall here, unfortunately. Frontier boxes us in like animals. Always worth checking, Pioneer. You in the market for? You don't want to be caught unprepared. You got anything good, my man? None of these guns will let you down. None of these guns will let you down. Well, they're all level one, so you you have nothing interesting for me. I'll be here if you change your mind. Yeah, Jose Cuervo is pretty good. I actually went to a tequila tasting party with the Jose Cuervo reps for the restaurant. They let me kind of sit in and try all that tequila, and that was kind of awesome. That really changed my mind or understanding about tequila and how awesome it is when you actually get good tequila. Yeah, I will uh, go at the bar here for a minute and do a quick bio break. And then when we get back, I think, I don't know, I'll look up and see if there are any um, things that we missed in this mystery. But um, if not, um, if like we've got as far as anyone else has gotten and we can't decode it, then I don't know, maybe we can head to a maelstrom. Oh, you got your, uh, your mask on. I can do that too. That's the one the, the one huge benefit about getting night vision is you can sit here and just like put a hat on. I love it. It's so fun. You pretty much hit insta wrap with the faction at 75 occupied escape pods. So wait, if you find 75 occupied escape pods, turn them into like the, the escape pod broker, that will give you like insta allied? That's not bad. And then where did we f we found a place that you can get um, escape pods from a mega ship too? So that's that's something you could definitely do. All right, uh, it's bio break time. Time to riot. I can actually just, just move that. Oh no no not you. No no no. I can't. There's so many damn things on the screen. Yeah, move the bio break down. Okay, there we go. That way it's nice on the bar. Okay, I will be back. you but I am utterly beat take my advice if they offer you a promotion don't take it it's not worth the hassle hmm yeah the constant shift changes have ruined my sleep schedule you're lucky you didn't pull three back-to-back -back shifts in the last seven days sure place to sink a few with a friend it has a good vibe for the most part great for hanging out the uh, bartender they don't just sell great drinks some of the store hmm yeah
All right, I'm back. Did you see the latest controversy about Hudson? That guy oh God, the NPCs people. are talking. The NPCs are well, talking. It's people like him that are holding <laughs> our Dark entire King civilization King back. The, the bomb breaks. Stop riding. Stop riding. It's over. Well, you can ride as long as you want. So I'm looking on the forum and I've got so much time. I'm trying to find. Up. It's time to cash it in and head out. Got what? any suggestions? Other people have seen so the friendly. Dental Utopia Festival in Palevnik wasn't really for me, but you might get something out of it. The Dental Festival? Mm. <laughs> okay, these NPCs are having the most banal conversation ever. I love it. Um, hmm. It looks like that we might have gotten as far as other people have gotten. Because I do see everything that we've seen. And I think this emergency recording is kind of the end of the current breadcrumb. I'm assuming that probably the, like, the wreckage that we saw in that system is pro Get to the chopper! No! Get to the chopper! Um, sorry. <laughs> but that emergency beacon, I think that was probably from one of the people that were hunting CO. Because I don't think they're going to take D2 out and just like, oh yeah, I don't know, she died. <laughs> that would be dumb. Okay, but apparently there's also a Morse code in Anka from that beacon. But that might just be like an, an SOS Morse code. Hmm. Some people are saying they're not too sure that the E N G stands for emergency because the German counterpart would not fit. G nigger. Uh, let's assume that the last letter is either Anything scrambled or belongs to the next fallen word. We can compare E and G H with G and G. Anywhere, the English word is enough. So I may not be the best person for advice. See what you okay, mean. Okay, I'm, I'm just like putting on my tinfoil, tinfoil hat here. So maybe it feels incomplete because we just haven't got a resolution, and there could be like another event coming up. This is interesting. Like people are going in and changing the language filter. Like, I don't, how do you do that? Can you do that in the? Hold on. Let me get, get into camera mode for a second here. If I go into my options, can I change to another language? What would that be under? Or do you have to like buy the game in a different language? Is there actually like a way to just change the language in the game? Interface mode. Do any of you guys have a different language uh, version of Elite? I think these are all just store camera. That would be interesting though. If like, you converted your game into another language. I don't think there is like, would it do that? I wonder if these QR... They could hide QR codes in the game, too, couldn't they? Yeah, I don't know if I could change the language, but on the forum... Oh, wait, hold on. The bio break is still up. Oops. Get... Get you gone. Get you gone, little bio break. Like, like, no wonder... No wonder you guys are still rioting, right? But yeah, they change it to uh, different languages, and the e dash engi thing does not change... People are posting like the French version of the language, which doesn't help me because I don't understand French. But that's kind of interesting. Like, if they had to make like a gibberish statement, how do they translate that into another language, right? But that like E N G thing, like, is that a system name? <laughs> someone's like, someone's like, flight six E eighty eight is leaving from uh, Cozy Go uh, Cozy Kode, India, heading to Dubai today at twenty three thirty five IST. <laughs> the tinfoil is strong. Uh, Sometimes the only rest I get after a long here. shift is after having People are throwing glasses of lady this into. Can we throw this Airplane. into Chat GPT? Oh my lord! Hold on. Some time off did me a world of good. Chat Maybe GPT. You take some too. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna put... So... Okay, I need to bring up my comms. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, can you decode something for me? And send that, let's see what happens. What is ChatGPT? Sure, I'll do my best to, what is the messenger code? Code is E dash star E N G H Y uh, five periods, three, four, five, six E, six E, dot, 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 hashtag, hashtag, what is that, quote, period, quote, at percentage, percentage, A-T. And it's uh, going to say, okay, I'm just going to see what chat you, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're trying to communicate. Okay, chat GPT, so the code is from Elite Dangerous on the D2 mystery currently happening. Check the forums for more info, chat GPT. An AI is a language model, they're not too capable of checking forums. Whenever I feel like I've got the e hang of NGP. mining, I go and make some amateur mistake. E -E -E. These days, I tell oh wait, I put the wrong thing in there. Patience and adaptability. Six E. I remember dot, the first dot, time dot, I ran into pirates when I had a full cargo hold. Crash that crap will wake you up faster than any push will. And I'm sorry, I do not understand the meaning. Never confuse a displaced Damn missile you. with a torpedo. That was All right, a well, day. apparently chat GPD is not going to help with this. Ah! I did, sir. <laughs> I just like just shaking my head. So you tried this last night. It doesn't know anything past September 2021. Oh, really? So it's kind of like in the past, eh? Chat GPD needs to get with the times. Well, hey, let's uh, let's say that probably I think we've gotten as far as I think the mystery goes. Hello, sir. I like his suit there. I'm gonna get me one of those. Where'd you buy that? Um, yeah. All right. Well, I think maybe we could go to Maelstrom and try to see if we can unlock those caustic sinks. I was kind of hoping to just find like D2 like standing around in the station. Excuse me. Are you D2? Are you D2? Oh, you're not a ma'am. From the back, you looked up. Uh, sorry, sir. Alright, back to the ship. Think you lost your earthly language. You can't understand what's going on. Uh, no, that's just me talking in code. But yeah, so what have we learned so far? We learned that D2 is aware that Salvation was working on something to take his mind and put it into a Guardian computer box. That's pretty damn significant. And it was called the Nemesis Project. And that ties in with the activation of the Proteus Wave. We saw that there is the word Nemesis on his screen. So this has obviously been planned for a while. This is all intentional. Like, something's going on here. This is awesome. I like these things. It did, sir. You coming for a ride? Alright, so I actually need to switch into a different ship, so I'm gonna have to head back to the Danga bus, unless, I don't know, does anyone else have any ideas for around here? Again, all I would like would be like a system name that has 88 in it, right? If we could find something with 88, this is 88 dash, right? Let me, let me, let me check this. 88 dash blank blank. What is the other piece? It's like E N G E dash N G E N G. Oh. Oh my. This isn't that far. E two Carine. It's not that far. It's kind of on the other side of this uh, area here. 
Why does E2 Karine ring a bell? I have to Google this now. So this is apparently a real star. Uh, it's a giant star. It is orange and red. It is a naked eye star, so you don't need a telescope or binoculars. There are no known exoplanets rotating the star. No one has visited it in, in the real world. I mean, is it... How many jumps? It's only six jumps. It's worth a check. You tried looking at a few things on EDB.io. Didn't think there was much worth looking at, but I'm an idiot, so who knows? Well, you're in good company then, because, well... Good company or bad company, depending on how long you want to live right now, because we might find some black flight people there. Who knows? But let's try it. I don't know. I mean... E dash, there's only two systems. One is 200 light years away, the other one's 800. But we got nothing else to go on. It seems to me like from the forums, like that, this is as far as people have gone. So either A, like Frontier is gating the content and spoon feeding us a little drip of, at a time, they're just giving us little num nums. Or uh, we just haven't found it yet. see what's in the forum thread here. Yeah, you know, these guys are getting into massive tinfoil. Four, three, two, oh, they're running like SQL one, queries two. against like EDDB. That's smart. That's smart people stuff. People are looking for, like, are there any systems that Azimuth has been in that have, like, 88 in the system title? That's another good sort of uh, 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 line of inquiry. Gropple. Fuel scooping. That's a great system name. Ooh, Alternation. Some interesting little station names here. Sometimes I, I do just, like, find, like, go Ooh, Alpha Hydra, permit required. Why are there all these permit lock systems that I still have no permits for? I need to do this. Hey, uh, enjoy, uh, I think you're going to check out that thing. Valor, enjoy the thing. Hopefully the thing is nice. You wanted a couple of those caustic sinks? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do some of that. Three, after, if we have time. Two, one, engage. No, I gotta, I gotta like, uh... I gotta like, uh, switch my ship. Which means I gotta go back to the Dengamus. Uh, have I looked into Star Catalog? The system name could have different names. That's true. That's true. Well, I'm gonna go on this hunch, this E dash. Like, there's only two Feels systems that have E dash. And if, like, that E dash is, like. What's the Engie, though? Like, carry nade is not Eng Engie. Frameshift drive charging. If I just Google E dash star Engi, let's say plus star name. Four, three, uh, two, one, engage. Uh, what star starts with E? Here's a list of stars that start with E. I mean, this this could be a a very long search. But you never know. I don't know. I'm taking a stab in the dark, but it is kind of like this is close enough to the maelstrom area that I'm like could be interesting. E2 Karen, there's something familiar about that. You're gonna get me online and so bouncy because your hands are shaky. Well, take your rest, man. This universe will be here. It ain't going anywhere. But you know, I do get I do get excited Four, when they drop these little breadcrumb three, mysteries in here. It two, really does. One, Long streams. I mean, normally I stream for like three, four hours, right? So probably at two thirty-seven. Yeah, I don't know if I'll, I'll get to the cost of heat sinks. I mean, I might try, but uh, I do start to get hungry after the three-hour mark. I've noticed that. Usually, it's around that three-hour hour mark where my stomach starts to grumble and it's like food free. 
frameshift drive charging. But yeah, this is uh, this is really interesting. I really like this fact that salvation may not be down and out, but there could be a new layer to salvation. Four, well, I enjoy three, flying with you two, bro. Two, so. I don't play Elite too much outside of the stream. It's like I, I did log in and just did a couple missions for fun on like Thursday or whatever, and it was uh, pretty awesome actually. It's been a while. I just, you know, played for the sake of playing. I gotta do a little bit of location scouting for Thunder Dangus, though. I'm like, I kind of want to do uh, a couple, maybe like one or two episodes before Thunder Dangus. And I'm gonna need some time to like, uh, like think about it, D2, E-2. It's another coincidence, right? It's starting to line up. You only eat once a day. I usually eat like twice a day. But if I go, if I go, if I uh, don't eat that second meal, I get hangry. A small, a small breakfast or whatever. All right, we're here. So what is here? Fuel scooping. System scan complete. Fuel scooping. There are signal engaged. sources, but they do not look like special, special signal sources. This might be a dead end. It's more than likely a dead end. It was a stab in the dark, but well. Kinda cool that this is a real system. It's like Google said the real star would be like orange RNG, and look at that. It is RNG. The stellar engine never fails to disappoint. Or wait, never fails to not disappoint. These are all gonna be degraded. Ooh, 10 million years old. Yeah, I don't think this is the thing. Yeah, I doubt it. Well, let's try, uh, where do you, where do you find it here? Because there was that 88 system somewhere around here, right? Eighty-eight G Carinae. That's also that's like yeah, literally a jump away. So maybe jumping from E two to eighty-eight Carinae will go through Raxla and come out the other side. And we'll find a blue triangle, and David Raymond will step out and destroy the stream. Force me under NDA. Lock me in the basement. Scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. So we're looking for yeah, 88 or E dash. The Engi thing too. That's that's like Is it E dash Fengi? Gengi? Gengi maybe. Four, three, two. With one, you, Commander, onwards. Engage. We're mystery hunting here. We're literally just taking stabs in the dark. It's you know how many billions of stars, but <clears throat> maybe we'll just land at the right one. I mean, this is how Cannon solves a lot of mysteries, just pure brute forcing. Alright, so what's this one like? We got a lot more stuff here. Fuel scooping. I don't think there is a nav beacon, because this is uninhabited. Let's take a quick peek. Lots of gas giants. One, two, three, four. If there was like a sixth one, and then an E moon. I don't think there's a thing here. Just kind of look at this bandwidth. It looks like signal sources over here. Asteroid clusters, Mitch Ruddle. Rich metal bodies. Mitch Ruddle bo <laughs> Mitch Ruddle. Yeah, I don't know if this is a thing. It was worth a try, though. You never know, right? Being so close to the Maelstrom as well. Which Maelstrom is this? Tyrannus? Okay, so... Now we want to do that other stuff, so 
Let's head back to Bologna's, because I need to visit the Dangabus. Actually, quite a ways away. Kind of got to go across the bubble now. But yeah, I'm very interested to know where this plot thread goes. Like, this is really, really cool. Like, who does the frontier for keeping the story alive, right? Even if it is in a stale space, it's something, right? I'm just gonna get some fuel here. Actually, no, we'll, we'll just scoop on the way. I just realized if I scoop too much, I might actually be too heavy to jump. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive. You ever do that where it's like you plot a route on a near empty tank while you're fuel scooping? And then you try to jump out of that first star, it's like, yeah, you. You, you don't have enough jump range because fuel actually has weight which I think is like again one of those like super Three, things that we like take two, for granted that are just one, part of the background of the infrastructure of the game that like fuel has weight that's cool like obviously cargo has weight but the fact that fuel has weight and in theory like if you could empty some of your tanks you can increase your jump distance like that's neat Scooping. All right, it's ten jumps to Bologna's. We gotta keep an eye out for any weirdness along the way, though. You never know. Disengaged. You never know with charging. these Thargoid people. And hopefully, Death Star. Do you have a ship on the on the Danga bus? Get you all red. I do love the different head Four, colors and three, night vision. Two. One, engage. But yeah, Dead Star, I hope you have a ship. Um, otherwise, you won't have to escape pod, and it'll bring you back to I think, that other station. I do that all the time, where it's like, if you if you do a multi-crew with someone, or just like start abusing space taxis, and then suddenly you find yourself in an area of space where it's like, I don't even have a ship, man. Oh, you don't think you do. Where, where do you want me to drop you off, then? Should I take you somewhere first, so you can get your ship? Where, where uh, did you leave your ship? Was it in um, Mumbuni? So we can go there first. I think, yeah, you were at Prospect Steve. I'll take you there so you're not stranded. Because on fleet carriers, if you notice, there are no... I don't, And I don't understand why, but you cannot taxi from a station to a, a fleet carrier or vice versa. It's actually really Four, bizarre. Three, two, one, engage. Jumping to Balata. But yeah, I, I'm curious to know how this mystery is going to be cracked. I, Oh, your carrier is in Bologna's. Well, do you want to just go to Bologna's to your carrier, or do you want me to drop you off on M Mabuni? It is up to you. I am your, your pass, uh, what do you call it? Passenger person. No, you're the passenger. I am the captain now. Look, I am the captain now. Frameship drive charging. Okay, I'll take you to your carrier. So then, Balonies. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Uh, hello. And then your carrier is not the Sulaco, the Dead Star Harbor. Oh, we're parked at the same moon. That's convenient. Frame shift drive charging. Uh, eight jumps. Frame shift drive charging. Because yeah, the uh, the ship that I respect for this is I have a Diamondback Explorer, kind of ready Four, for some three, deep two, maelstrom one, antics, eight. right? Of course, the way to get these caustic sinks is you have to not only get caustic shards, you have to get 
um, caustic tissue samples, which require you to kind of very stealthily approach these little fart boxes um, and get research limpets on them that will then take their tissue. And in order to put the research Jeez, limpets on there, you have to bring, um, what do you call it? Uh, hold on, let me put my orbit lines on so I don't smack into the star. But you need to bring um, uh, a Xenoscanner because otherwise you don't have the like the little lim limpet nodule visible. I discovered that this morning and then died. Uh, what do you say, Dead Star? The, maybe the Nemesis uploaded something to do Frame with the green relics. Interesting, charging. interesting. Uh, perhaps the whole super weapon thing was just an excuse. I was thinking about that. I'm like, maybe Salvation didn't care about saving humanity. Maybe he just cared about preserving his own life. Like, I'm 500 years old. I know I'm going to... Like, this technology Four, can't keep me up anymore. Three, two, I need to upload myself into one, this thing. Engage. I'll do this whole song and dance about saving humanity, but maybe it was all about that, right? So that he could become the Guardians, and maybe that is the super weapon, is once I have become a Guardian hive mind AI... I can, like, single-handedly wipe out the Thargoids with a fleet of Guardian AI bots. Like, very plausible. And also, very freaking cool. Feels like, that's be. awesome. I like it. Uh, you find out the hard way you got trapped because your pal left you when you're supposed to do foot missions together. And you had to take a taxi to station Feels to your fleet carrier disengaged. and get my ship called to me. Yeah, I mean, you can always just, like, taxi near and then Frame summon drive, your ship. Charging. Which is kind of annoying, but... It is what it is. It's not the way I would want to uh, do it if I were designing this universe. Like, I, I, I appreciate the ship transfer time mechanic. It makes everything feel more real and distant and whatever. But oh my god, like, these things where it's like you click a button and then you just have to wait for 37 minutes. And it's like, what are you going to do, right? I mean... Usually what I'll do is kind of do some foot missions and just use Apex to kind of get around. But it's like, you should be able to at least have like a little slider where it's like, okay, I want to pay for the express transfer. And maybe that's like 10 times more, but it reduces the time by 10 times. And then maybe you can go super express, just get it in, but it'll cost like a billion dollars. I don't know. <clears throat> Not a billion. Don't, 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 don't do that. But I, I would love to have that. To just like because there are some moments i think that's the, the one thing that i think turns like a lot of people in four, in this three, day and age are impatient two, right like one, we don't want to wait engage. like four hours to do anything when we want to do it right we want to just be able to do it and if we have to wait like you know 15 minutes that feels like an eternity so it just feels like okay i get the the immersion part of it but like it's not fun just sitting around waiting for your ship Fuel scooping. I see carriers here. Whenever you see carriers, it's like, is this someone's home? Is this currently like a popular station? Are there rare goods here? Oh, Schrodinger dock. That's probably why. Plank square? Oh my god, it's like bath dirt in heaven. This is a big old system. Maldondos. McDonald's. Frame shift drive charging. It's like a fancy McDonald's. How many more jumps? And yeah, we got enough fuel. That's good. Four, three, two. You know, I've been one. so used now Engage. to just getting in my carrier and waiting for that 15-minute jump timer, and then just getting where I would need to go. I actually am really low on tritium. I need to refuel it, but um, I kind of miss the whole jumping around the bubble thing sometimes. Like, it is kind of, like, fun to jump versus, Feels like, scooping. stand on a carrier System for 15, scan minute, 15 minutes. Like, at least you're doing something, right? You lose the version of the game and you have to log out Feels and gather the map. Oh, yeah. Frame well, that's the other thing, too, is, charging. like, are the numbers too high or... Are there just not great mechanisms for finding the mats that we need, right? Like, I don't want to, like, especially for those rare mat, uh, the raw mats, where you just have to drive around and shoot rocks Four, and hope that three, one of the rocks two, that you shoot is going to have what you need. Eight. It's all RNG, right? It's like you're just looking for, like, seven arsenic, right? 
It's like, okay, well, first I gotta find a planet that has high arsenic percentage, right? Which, I guess I'm gonna look that up online, because I don't want to just wander around looking for it, right? Because that would take two, three hours, right? So it's kind of like a lot of players have developed these, these smart, smart players have developed these tools that allow us not to waste our gooch mind. I love it. Um, but like, it's like it's Frontier's actual expectation that you know, okay, cool. Either A, like, we just wander around looking for these things. Or B, like, I don't know, when we find a system that has high arsenic content, we're gonna write it down, put it in our own little Excel sheet, and, like, run a database on the side. Which is, you know, back in the day when you would play, like, old video Four, games, three, you kind of had to two, have a little notebook one, or something, right? Engage. And I appreciate, like, the nostalgia of that, but... No, no. No, no. This is why we have, like, journals and logs and all that stuff. It's this it's three three oh nine, give it the times. Oh yeah. It's the high grade emission mat grind. Well the high grade emission mat grind, and again this is so immersion breaking, but if you find a signal source with Fuel's high grade emissions, you can just jump into the signal source, log out, and then log back in, Fuel's jump out, and it's still there. As long as that timer hasn't ticked down, right? So if it's gonna be there for twenty minutes you have 20 minutes to do the logout grind. Drive I think you, you might have to exit to desktop for that one or something like that, or maybe that's the, the manufactured instructions one. The fact that we have to figure out to do these things and, and actually do them, I mean, look, you don't have to, Three, two, I guess. One, you can just waste your time. But it's like, you know, people follow the path of least resistance, right? So I don't understand why they, and again, I don't know. They talked about a major feature overhaul sometime this year. We don't know if it's power play, if it's CPC, if it's... Some people were speculating that it was engineering. Right? Fuel scooping. I mean, from what I've seen from Frontier, I don't feel like their modus operandi would include lowering the grind. Fuel scooping. If anything, disengage. they might be like, we've increased the grind. We're making you suffer more. But I don't know. All I know is I need mats. And if we could just trade them... Like, there are a lot of people out there in the galaxy that don't mind the grind. That actually enjoy the grind. I know Eddie, Eddie was one of them. Um, they find it relaxing. They find it enthralling, right? And it's like, there are many people that, that, that do the grind. They have uh, overabundance of materials. They got nothing to engineer. Why is there no way for them to trade this stuff with other players, right? Just give us a player economy, and then at least people will go do the work, and then they can trade it for credits or tr and up keep their fleet carriers. And there's a game loop in that, and it kind of like gives the the universe a little bit of life. I think that would be the solution for me. Is just like, just like we have the material traders, but they have these ridiculously high conversion ratios. All we need is a player economy for materials, and the ability for me to say, hey, uh, I'm gonna go get a bunch of cracked industrial firmware. And then give it away for free, or you know, charge, uh, charge some credits, right? I think that'd be cool, and that would solve all the problems. Because then, the people who like to grind can do the grinding, and the people who don't like to grind can just buy from the people that do the grinding, and they can be rewarded, right? Simple. Now, of course, I'm not a dev, so I don't know what the kind of adjudication servers and transactional good. Hickeys that they would need to, to build into the game, but um, to me, it's like that seems like the seems like the easiest, the path of least resistance, at least, right? I know, right? You would pay a lot not to. I am down dangerously low on my in, iron and nickel. Like if I like, that's what I was saying. Like raw mats is what I need to really focus on. Like where's iron here? One iron, seven nickel. If my life support conks out, I'm dead. Like, I got nothing. Can't make limpets. Can't make life support. Yeah, I need to do that soon. And honestly, it's just like, you roll around on a planet surface in a scarab. And, you know, it's like, maybe after... Oh, crying out loud. You know what? You know what, Michael? One up. I'm in the mood right now. I'm in the mood. Where are you? Scan detected. Oh, you're a bumba. Interesting. 
What do you have in your cargo hold? You know what? You don't pirate a Degas man in his own system, sir. Under attack. Now you pay the price. Oh, did you bring a friend? Yeah, it's, uh, sorry, Dead Star. This this taxi's just got some some business to attend to. Get tag teamed by these guys. Wait, is that? Did I hear another jump sound? Now release the frags. I can't remember what the mods are on this uh, frag build. Oh, someone else is shooting at him. That's interesting. Who are you, friend? Uh, is this guy running away? Oh, look at that. It's uh, Balonis Nationalist coming to help me out here. Okay, this guy's, like, really being annoying. Stop running away! That's right, that's right. I love that the Balonis Nationalist guy is just like... Yo, there's combat here? Oh, this guy's pirating? Like, there's no system security in Balonis. We're in anarchy, so... It's just like, this is just like some good Samaritan. He's just like... Trying to score some brownie points with the Overlord here. <coughs> Frame shift charge detected. I love the frag drives. Oh, no, 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 no. You do not get away. You do not get away. It's not happening. Get back here, Michael. Get back here, Michael. I think those frag drives- OH! I HATE YOU! He left me. All that- I don't get any satisfaction. I wish I could just find him in Super Bruce and charging. get him. But that's fine. Taught him a lesson. Four, three, don't mess with spatula two, and bolognese. One, engage. Interdict me in my hometown. How dare he. I wonder, like, do you see them at all? Because no, it's like, no, he probably high waked anyway. In my in my head cannon, that's what happens. You choose death, that. Very well. Die! <laughs> the writing is just mm, beautiful. I know, right? NPC combat log. What a jerk. It's so unsatisfying, though, when they run away, and it's just like, ugh. To be fair, I wasn't probably... I could have inspect out better. I kind of just, like, wanted to fly my python because I haven't flown my python for a while. Why does it look like your carrier is, like, on the ground? It's just weird perspective. It's like, did your carrier crash? Alright, Dead Star. I'm gonna drop you off first. You're still with me, right? You haven't... Hollow Mead out. You haven't been brave and tunneled to the end of the universe. Welcome, Commander. Please request docking permission before approaching a landing pad. Permission granted. So Please landing approach pad your designated landing. landing pad in good time. I do like how we get... Like, even though your carrier is like the same, I think, layout as mine. Landing gear deployed. The coloring just makes it look so different. Landing pad 11 looks like that one there. So we'll just try to like weasel in this way. Attention, Commander. Almost. Oh, Almost. Oh, 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 and there we go. And that'll go down. And that will let you get out. And you can go grab Almost your ship while I head over to the Dangabus. Greetings, Commander. We are glad to have you. I hate that stupid blackout camera when you're in hangars. It happens a lot, and it's like... Why? What don't you want me to see? I love how Dead Star just magically teleports there. And then it's like, where's the damn thing? following you with my camera. Oh, 
<laughs> nice little salute. I should blink the lights at you. Can I see you there? Yeah, a little bit. If I just go launch... Oh, I can't launch until you're off the uh, pad, apparently. Where did you go? There you are. I love the elevators. Alright, now we head over to the Danga bus. I'll swap into my uh, Demon Dabaco. Hopefully my carrier is like close and not on like the other side of the planet. That can actually happen but a lot. But nope, nope, it looks like it's just right next door. Where are you, Dark Abbey, by the way? Are you uh, in Belotus? Oh, you are. I'll invite you to the team if you want. I'm gonna just try a little bit of maelstrom diving. Probably not too much, because I do. I am. I, it's three hours. I'm getting hungry. Well, little Danga Belly is, is rumbling. Friendship drive charging. It wants me to put in the carbs. Four, three, two, one. Engage. So I'm like, we did the time change here or whatever, and uh, Winter's obviously starting to peter out and it's just nice to be able to actually like like when I would stream like uh, two months ago by this point it would be like black black outside just just complete night and now it's actually like there's still light out which is nice get a little bit more daytime even though I am a creature of the night all right dang of us get ready to receive me Get out the welcome mats. Ning all, and yes, I am Ooh. in Bolognese. Hello, standing sir. by. How are you? Hello. In the Bolognese. Are you on the Sulaco? I am indeed. Yes, yes. yes. I was doing some fun missions yesterday for, or no, a couple days ago for, uh, for DI. I did, um, what was it, um, the political assassinations? Do like a nice bit of political assassination, then tight. I thought those were fun, because you literally just go uh, to like this little signal source, and there's a bunch of NPCs just hanging out. And then there'll be one particularly chatty one who's like, kind of annoying at the amount of uh, Taking damage. text. Ooh, shields shields. Offline. Um, like, th there'll be one dude just like, like, hogging all the cob space. And that's usually the guy you gotta assassinate, so you don't really feel bad. A politician ha hogging all the communication channels. Uh, how do you figure that then? It's like, how will Shields how will those poor men express that they've forgotten their vows if they can't get a word in? <laughs> yeah, those vows are pretty vague and nebulous. They're easy to forget, though. You gotta write them down, that's my advice to all those people on wedding barges. Is yeah, write, write them down. Write them down, definitely, all the time. And also stay off the comms, like, you know, you don't want anyone to hear that, that you did that. Why are you announcing this in the system chat? Alright, Strange and Dangerous, the one. Swapping over to my diamond back, let me just uh, refresh my HUD here. I wish that happened automatically, sometimes I have to jam the buttons, but... Alright, I figure Ragin's pretty close. We've got a Ragin. It's literally... And, and in fact, the fact that it's that close, I'm starting to actually get worried, Dark Heavy. It's like, we've got... Like... Basically, what? 50 light years to the latest... Like, if you look at the system of Tagen, that's 47 light years from Bologna's. Uh, yeah. They're Thargoids, but we're Dangus, so I don't really see a problem here. I don't, but they might. I don't know. I I I welcome our Thargoid overlords. Bring onion head. I'm all cool with it. <laughs> all right. So this ship I've I've equipped with like all the right sort of stuff that I hope will be able to get some flush samples. Just have to head over to region, which thankfully is actually only two jumps away. 
The only problem I would say is that I don't run naturally cold. I think the, the resting heat for the ship is around 25. And I think it's... And correct me if I'm wrong, Dark Heavy, you've been doing the grind in the in the, in the the Maelstroms? A little bit, yep. It's all about um, being just... cool. It's all about being cool, right? Uh, yeah, go, go, go heat sinks. I've got uh, decontamination repair methods for you. So I'm going to act as a kind of backup oh, ship team. You go do your thing and I'll... Um, yeah, do my best to support you. I fucked up. I forgot to buy the pits. As uh, you usual. Yeah. Uh, although I would suggest... Oh, oh yeah. It's uh, a bit close, uh, I, did, yeah. I did rage in earlier. It's only two jumps away, and it's like, uh, it's not too far in. Because I remember Oya, the only problem was, like, it was pretty far in Super Cruise, and I had to, like, uh, uh, get interdicted, like, or superdicted, or whatever you call it. Like, 17 times. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah, my bad. Raging, yep, closer, let's go there. Raging, like, I, I don't know, I did a test run. I didn't get uh, uh, Super Cruise interdicted once. I don't know if they're just like chill. It's like the chill Maelstrom. Like, each, each Maelstrom, it's like the uh, seven dwarves, and they all have properties, right? Like, one is like Gobi, one's like Sleepy. Sleepy, yeah, Lazy, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, a lot of. Getting into the Maelstrom is easy. As soon as you get hyperdicted or interdicted or whatever, is just like keep an eye on where it is that you're going and just boost towards it, boost towards it, boost towards it, and you'll get there. Once you're in this in system and you get uh, interdicted, uh, just remember where you're headed. Keep boosting, keep boosting. Get literally, I've had no need for weapons whatsoever. Um, it's uh, it is a cold sneak peek mission. Yeah, I still brought my. Uh, oh, apparently those limpets have made me a little heavy in the in the trousers. So just replot that route. It's still two jumps, just slightly different. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I guess like I brought along weapons anyway because why not have them? I don't care. Like. I'll, it's not going to affect it, but um, certainly, like, yeah, you don't have to shoot those things. You just want their flesh. Four, three, oh, see you, Carl. Two, have a good one, one 07. Engage. See you, Carl. But what do you think about Salvation potentially still being out there as a Guardian AI? Is that not cool? Uh, it, it's... There are so many rabbit holes in this story that it's like Alice in Wonderland at the moment. Um, yeah, it's great it, and it adds a lot of uh, another dimension to the whole thing. But at the same time, it's like, what do you believe? What don't you believe? Uh, I don't know. Well, I like that there's that. I mean, like, okay, when Admiral Tanner is like, oh, wow, you have a lot of files on Salvation's plans to build this nemesis parties, but you don't have any proof that he actually built it, so whatever <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> there's enough there, just the, that the, the fact that there were enough files that he was working on it this begs investigation you know it's like this this is this is maybe worth looking into considering the mess that salvation has got humanity into right like i don't know that would still be a priority Warning. Hazardous oh, definitely. Environment. It definitely yeah mysteries within mysteries within uh chocolate wrapping tin foil hattery and smaller smaller egg cups <laughs> it's a russian dolls of mysteries all right heading to the maelstrom region okay i think i may be in a different instance to you because uh, i'll send you another team invite yeah there we go i'll get you Lovely. get you in and i'm in just, I got Timmy and Cha. There we go. Alright. So I'm approaching region about 15 seconds out. Space seconds. Which are relative. But yeah, I haven't been interdicted. Like, this is like the chill maelstrom. Region is too busy raging to, like, rage on you. And I'm going too fast.
Yeah, approaching the actual maelstrom itself, I've personal experience, I've always found approaching at 50% speed rather than like 75%, the usual kind of super cruise. Uh, gets you on the outside edge of the maelstrom when you drop. Uh, well, you, just, can, you can just slam into it like you slam into rings kind of deal. Like, you don't have to actually, like, disengage Super Cruise. You can just smash it. Yeah, you end up deep inside it. Oh, does that actually affect where you land? Uh, I, uh, I've only been doing this for about five days, so... And I've only been doing it at the Oya uh, Maelstrom, so this one might be different. I have no knowledge. That, that, is, that is something I wonder, is like, how many, uh, like, uh, do the Maelstroms have, like, different personalities, different, like, characteristics, right? So I think that would be an, a really interesting layer if, like, they all had, like, their, their own kind of nuances. Like, beyond sure, just, like, yeah. the color of the cloud kind of thing. Yeah, that would ha add a whole new layer to the narrative character of, uh, of Maelstroms, for sure. Alright, we're in region. So, uh, pretty much what we need to do is Xeno scan those little fart boxes and then shoot a research limpet up their butt and take their, take their flesh. And we need to be cold so they don't detect us. And we need to be quiet and stealthy. So here's one up here. It's actually not that far away. Oops, that was my field neutralizer. And have your escape route plotted because... Yeah, that's that's a good tactic. Have your escape route plotted already. Uh oh. Warning. Caustic damage. Detected. All right, I'm starting to receive Taking the caustics. Damage. So this guy's dropping caustic shards. Still not able to target him yet. I'm going to engage heat sink and then begin the cool runnings. Okay. Oh, he's fart boxing. Still can't target him. You have to get really close to these guys to get a lock on them. Okay, here we go. Yeah, if I could just get that Xeno scan off. Okay. Got the Xeno scan. Okay. Now you gotta move over here. Limpet docking point. Oh my god, this is like so many steps. Research limpet away. Maybe I'm just gonna keep. Oh no, he's unleashed more fart. Okay, now that I'm not targeting him, will the research limpet still do its thing? Deployed. It looks to be still on course. Or is it? Okay, it looks okay. He's doing his thing. Research there we go. Engaged. So now I am caustic. But thankfully, I think uh, what I found was injured. Oh, 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 more for boxing. Um. The caustic cloud apparently has like gradient layers, right? So the closer you get to the center, the more the caustic damage accelerates. But initially, yeah. it's kind of like light, caustic version of light, but I should still decon myself. Uh, decon is two. Programming drone. Taking damage. Research limpet deployed. More okay, so I just kind of caustic and then it just came back. So maybe I should just be doing repair limpets. Okay, research research limpet successful. Here we go. Now, how many do you need for heat sinks? Or caustic sinks? Five uh, caustic samples. Oh my lord. Yep. That's why I'm coming in as a sport ship. So now... I, I, was, I was going in, getting one, jumping back uh, to my fleet carrier, dropping it off, going back, getting another one. Uh, it's, I'm not the best Elite Dangerous player, but it's uh, for an average player, it's kind of not something that you want to do all at once. Right. Okay, I have a cost of tissue sample, so is it probably best to then go back and put that away and then come back? 
Or do you think like two at a time would be like reasonable? Well, it, it depends. I'm just about to, after I've beaten this high prediction by the, whatever it is, scouts, interceptors, um, I'm, I've got uh, decontamination limpets and stuff, so I'm happy to come up and act as a support ship so I can decourse to rise you and repair you and stuff like that. So if you want to go for all five, that's up to you, but prepare for rebuy because it is one of those assets that will be destroyed if you get exploded. Right. And the problem is I only have eight limits at a time, so it's like hard to switch between collector and research and all that sort of stuff. Alright, I need to... I have three limpets left. Um... Right, uh, Death Star, are you there? Can you, can you, uh, do you have, a uh, decon limpets by any chance? I think I see you on the radar. Oh, but you're super far away. Oh my god. And Dark Heavy, I see your, your team signal. It's hard to actually, like, go, how do I get out of this? I mean, this isn't too bad. I'm only down to 80% hull. So, in theory, yeah, if I could do these, like, just get two of them. And then do uh, a little reset. My god, these maelstroms are super cool. Alright, what the heck. I'm just... I'm losing time. I gotta go back. I gotta get get myself the next flush sample. So I guess you can only get that uh, you can only uh, get one flush sample per fart box. Yeah, I believe so. Once you've done one of them you can't go back and get another one from that one, but it's really hard to keep track of which one it is that you've already taken. Yes, I'm already very confused. Okay, I can go... This guy seems close-ish. go cold. Oh, 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 he is coming towards me. Don't bump into him. Don't bump into him. I don't think he'll like that. Run away, Goy coming. But, but I need my research sample. Uh, it's all right. The um, the interceptors just seem to lope around the place. They they're not particularly interested. As long as you've got heat sinks, you can go cold and you stay out of their way. Then you can dodge around them quite easily. Oh yeah, it's after Dead Star. <laughs> Oh, in which case, Dead Star, run away! Run away! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you just lead him, lead him off. You're the distraction part of this operation. Programming the hit drone. The red lightning is kind of creepy, though. And then that just yeah, looming, oh, looming red blobby thing. Ugh. So intimidating. What is in the center of these things? Oh no, oh no! Wasn't watching research Caustic Cloud. Okay, Research Limpet is doing its thing. Extracting. Okay, this isn't as hard as it was this morning because uh, this morning when I tried it, I. Ooh, ooh, hold on. I'm, my decon. I need to, like, decon myself right now. Uh, which one is that? Number two? Programming and it just accelerated really quickly. Taking damage. I'm about two megameters out, just about to drop in. I should be able to come and give you some... Oh god. Decontamination, decaustic love. I'm at 20%. Hull integrity critical. Taking damage. Have I gone too far? Did I get too greedy? Warning, Eight percent. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dying. I'm dying. 
Run away, run away. Okay, maybe jettison cargo. It'll still be here for you guys. Limpic drone error. Deploy cargo hatch. Eject. No! Eject. <laughs> Just keep that instance open. Maybe the cargo will still be alive by the time I get back. What are you saying there, Jimmy? Uh, gotta love the internet connection. Elite Dangerous, capable of experiencing a pair of VR. This make me vomit. Oh my lord, I have not booted up VR. I know it still works in Odyssey. They, are, they don't, like, obviously not for the foot stuff, but... I'm kind of curious to try going into a Maelstrom with VR. That's probably amazing. Because Elite Dangerous is, hands down, the number one best, best ever... Oh shit, I forgot to buy limits again. Uh, it is the best uh, VR game, period. Do you guys see, uh, can you see my, my research samples or whatever? Are you able to, like, like scoop those, scoop those up? No, yeah, sorry. Oh. Ain't got them on radar. You lost them. Darn. So this is a little trickier than I first thought. Like, the cost of damage just, like, hell uh, accelerates. Really, you're gonna make me go all the way over here to read off. Like, I need to like remember limits. Yeah, I hate the abandoned VR for on foot too. But I also like um, I don't know if I if there is a single VR game that I enjoy or don't get motion sickness in when it's in first person. There's something about I think being in like a cockpit that tricks your brain into not wanting to throw up and make your head spin. Um, that's just me personally. Like I, I, I have not played a single like first person. Uh, what do you call it? Like VR game, and and not had like to remove the whole. So I'm kind of like I don't mind the idea. Like what I think would be cool is if like you know you could switch between. So when you get out of your ship, it would go to like full screen monitor. And then when you get into your ship, you put the VR helmet on to get on the ship or something, right? Like, that would have been kind of cool. Like, you stand in the blue teleportation circle, put the VR helmet on, and then you're in your ship, right? <coughs> Dead Star, I'm afraid I'm not going to make it to you in time. You're down to 1% hull, and you're still accelerating away from me. Oh, I haven't got time to get limpets onto you. Sorry, dude. Yeah, I we salute I, you. I panicked oh, seven. And, and ran. <laughs> well, sorry, yeah, Region is like a really chill Maelstrom, though. Like, I don't think the Thargoids give a shit. They're like, eh. Maybe the Dengus BGS is having an influence on them. It's like chilling them out. Uh, I think Braben might be threatened by the Bologna's BGS at the moment. <laughs> at least I would like to think that. I would like to. I would like to see more from Braben. I, I, I appreciated that he was on a live stream recently with Sally, but then like Three, Sally kind of just two, like like one, did most of the talking, and I just want to see like Braben unleashed. Right? I want to see like Braben go off. Like, yo, what's your what's your opinion on the? Frickin' Edmund Mahan. What's your opinion on the Kumo crew? Braben, talk about Thargoids. I don't yeah. think he does any of that anymore. I think he's now like, you know, he's like, I can tell you about the Q4 numbers. Let me tell you about the financial reports. Exactly. He, he can't. It, once you get elevated to that kind of position, you can't really do anything except the big political, oh, this is the whole direction that FDEV is moving into, rather than, oh, just... by the way, a uh, spatula was in HR112 the other day, honked, missed Raxler, and moved on. They can't go into details. It's like, I, I just want to see Raven nerd out, though. Like, I saw one randomly... It was like, like I think him and Scott Manley like met at some bar or something, and Scott Manley's like, "Do you mind if I record it?" It's like recorded on a cell phone. They just like nerd out about space. I'm like, that's what I want. I want to see Braven just like nerd out about gas giants or something, you know? 
even if it's n nothing to do with um, FDEV, evil, well, elite danger, or whatever, well, this is, it will be cool. this, is, this is why it'll never happen, because then, like, if, if Raven even talks about space, people are like, oh, roadmap! That's on the roadmap! Right? Even if he's, like, not involved in Elite Dangerous, if he were to say, like, you know what I really like? Green gas giants. People would be like, green gas giants confirmed! Like, he's kind of like, he can't speak about anything but the financials at this point, right? Without yeah. getting, uh... Fair enough. Everyone's hopes up. Uh, it takes learning to use to point a, a box fan at your feet. Wait, what? Point a box fan at your feet, take drama means it's a lot of pot, and that, like... Fix the motion sickness? That's interesting. I mean, hey, whatever works, right? Okay, sorry, I've got a goody boy. I, of course, I said region was all chill, and now I'm getting, like, hyperdicted. And then the stupid thing is fast locking me, like a jerk. Uh, you found grass on a planet? Well, yeah, there is, like, grass now in Odyssey. Like kind of thin, thin grass or whatever. And those planets look awesome. Like there's some great, awesome multi-biological planets. Oh man, it's like even the last time when I tried to get to the damn maelstrom, I just couldn't get there because I'm just being hyperdicted up the wazoo. I got my engine stabilizers. That's fine. It actually works better without them. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Just keep boosting, little one. It's like that last little bit of getting out of the mass lock. It's like, ah! I'm gonna end up losing half my hull. From this one stupid freaking incident. Now watch, I'm gonna be interdicted like six times. Honestly, last stream when I was doing this, I just wanted to rage quit. The, the hyperdictions, the, or the super cruise uh, interceptions or whatever. See? what I said. The fact yep. that you can't dodge them. It just makes me want to rage quit because you feel just no agency, right? Uh, well, I, the way I dealt with it was, okay, you're going to get interdicted. Keep your eye on the target of where you're going. If it's the next system or it's the next um, uh, planet or the next thing, is throttle back, keep your eye, um, your cockpit, whatever, focused on that yellow circle, not the blue interdiction circle, because you ain't going to beat that, and then boost. Just boost towards it, and as soon as you can, frame shift drive, super cruise, whatever, just keep going. It, it, it's like, uh, what, getting constantly pulled over by the cops. You know, it's just like, yeah, man, I'm going to Atlanta. You're pulling me over by the side of the road. Still got my eye on Atlanta. You know, just keep well, going. Like you get pulled over by a cop boost, boost, by the boost. same cop like six times on the same road, right? <laughs> yeah, a, a bad analogy. Um, and have a ship that does really fast. I think it's is it 400 meters a second? Yeah, that's, that's the that's the problem. Is I don't have the speed. Like if I had my crate, yeah. I could just get away from him. But then all my guardian modules would be dying. Oh wow! Oh, you bought guardian modules, Barzi. Well, yeah. no. If, if if I have my crate, right? That's why I'm like in my diamond back, which like I'm about to die. You know what? At least I'm. I was gonna say, at least I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out sc screaming, but uh, my thrusters are gone. Oh god. So, five of these damn tissue samples, eh? I, I think maybe my hunger is outweighing my patience, and I might just save this for another day and just end this stream on spatula getting blown up by a Thargoid. What a jerk, too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I feel like maybe just a slightly faster ship would avoid this problem. But that's cool. The grind goes on. I'll get those caustic heat sinks sooner or later, and then uh, use them to just visit the Maelstrom without anything to do with it, because that hasn't happened yet, right? 
I guess at some point oh. or another, we're gonna have the ability to go into the center of the Maelstrom. This is so annoying. I'm doing a reboot repair. Unless, can he just fly in front of me so that I can, like, shoot him and get some anger out? F and O7, right? Oh god. Now he's energy yeah. surging me. The son of a. Like, get out of here! <laughs> Leave me alone! The X and the Tevins oh, and the Lee incoming are all at the same time. My turning weapons are actually shooting him. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I hurt you! I have rebuy. Do you? Oh. Is he bagging me? Son of a gun. Alright. Um, I can't do this anymore. It's been too long. The stomach is growling. And too many limpets have been lost in the making of this stream. But I would say, like, we learned something very interesting today. We we, we went through the D2 mystery. We learned that Salvation is not out of the story yet. There may be a return that will be freaking epic. But obviously, I'm curious to know, uh, is there still more mystery to be held? Or, like, is there still more stuff in the game and we just haven't been clever enough to decode this message? Or... You know, uh, is there something coming next week sort of thing, right? That's my big question. I don't know. It definitely motivates me to try and just, like, spend a little more time in Elite. So, I don't know, you might see me during the week. If I can if I can fit it in, uh, playing a little bit of Elite. Nice one. All right, well, I am going to, I'm going to wish you all a, a big fat 07 uh, now. I'm going to go off and fill Spatula's belly with some Braven burgers or some Leastian uh, tree grubs or whatever. Whatever we eat these days. Don't eat the bog spaniels. That's, that's, that's me. The bog spaniels never did anything to you. You shouldn't eat them. Oh, lovely, lovely bog spaniels. We like them with mustard. I mean, they are kind of tasty, to be honest. Um... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you guys have a good one. Thank you for joining. And I will always see you next week on, on same Space Degas time, Space Degas channel. 07.